You hit the nail on the head, King of Fables. There's too many dang heroes in this dang city. We gotta call the numbers. Oh yeah, Tacticus, every time I hear this music, I get teleported to being 10 years old again, in the best way. Just ready to log in, make another new character, because 30 wasn't enough, and then playing the first five missions of the game again. And then starting over the next day. It's, I love this music so much. A good time zone to everybody. Screw it. We're here. What's up? How we doing? How we doing, King of Fables? How we doing, Einhorn? How we doing, Viking? Geiger? Tacticus? Joe? 
I hope we're all having a great morning, afternoon, night? Is it night for anybody? Are we going to Torchbearer? Uh, maybe? I probably should. Yeah, that's what, that's what I forgot. That's where we did villain stuff last time, huh? Yeah. Alright, we need a Torchbearer. Oh, there's no game. Now there is. Oh god, double. Alright, go away. I guess, yeah, I forgot that Torchbearer is where we did it. I can't decide. I am struggling to decide. Oh my god, where's my stuff? You're approaching 1,500 hours here, Einhorn, in what, City of Heroes? I can't decide if I want to keep playing Toxic Masculinity. Or play something else. I don't know. I definitely want to play Melee. I just don't know if Andrew Tate is what I want to look at for the next 33 levels. <laughs> I have not decided. I feel like making a character is always fun. I was made on Toxic Masculinity from like a power set perspective. I think the character design is perfect, but I'm not a big fan of tankers. Tankers aren't that fun. I like big number. Thank you, Liu. Also, what's up, Kanak and Liu? How we doing? Yeah, uh, let's create a new character. Let's do it. Yeah, it was a funny meme, but it's also been like two months, which is... Wild to think about. I am off center. Where am I? There I am. Uh, it's wild to think about that that stream was like two months ago. I'm doing okay, Lou. I'm doing okay. I'm just chilling. I've got my coffee in my favorite mug today. I absolutely adore this mug. It's my favorite in my collection. Cheers. I wouldn't say I have a mug collection. But we spent two hours making a new character. Fantastic. We're going to spend an hour doing the same thing. Okay, here's a thought. Do we make a Praetorian and go villain? I think we make a Praetorian. I've never played a Praetorian all the way through to 20. No reason not to, right? Making a Praetorian for that. Like, I've never... Sh I've sh shown off a little bit of villain side, but villain side also has really good missions. I don't know which to do. Villain side or Praetorian side? Huh. Let's, uh, we'll think about what fits our character better, I think. We'll start assuming we're gonna go villain side, but then we might swap to Praetorian. So I wanna be a melee character. What's up, Vin Vin? How we doing? It's such a good mug. Oh, and then the other side has the, uh, the button symbols. It's a great looking zone, they have more time. Yeah, I agree with that. Praetoria feels a little bit bigger than it needs to be. Like, the maps are way too big. But, I've never finished. You know what? No, let's do Praetorian. I've never done Praetorian. We can go villain afterwards. I think that sounds like a good way to do it. Prey says not recommended for players, and villain says recommended for players. <laughs> Today's going to be great. It's City of Heroes Day, Pizza Night, and D&D &D Night. Hell yeah, Joe. Sounds like a fantastic day. I'm excited. After I finish streaming, I am driving down about two hours to visit one of my good friends. We're going to hang out. We're going to watch movies and play games. It's going to be fantastic. I am stoked. But that's not important. What's important right now is what is our origin? Because this matters so much. I honestly, I wish origin was picked after powers. Because I never know what kind of power set I'm going to pick. But I do, and so I'm stuck here like, oh, I have to pick my origin. If, if I pick magic, but then I go with street justice, you know? So we'll, we'll come back to origin. Playstyle, melee damage. Because peak mail was all range. You're streaming something different on Twitch? What? I don't think so. I think they're both the same. Twitch looks fine on my end. Yeah, it all looks good for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we're, if we're doing Praetoria, I'm definitely going to read all the missions, Jeff, because I think that one's worth it, because they're, like, all interconnected. All right, so the question is, do I finally try to make Scrapper work? Because I feel like right now, Scrapper is the weakest option, right? Uh, Elwin, we are on Torchbearer, which actually I will add that to the to the Twitch um, stream info. Homecoming Torchbearer. Done. So. Oh, I gotta keep clicking to 
wrong things. Usually do my costume and end up changing my origin. Oh, that's cool. So, I feel like Scrapper is in a weird place right now. I'm not saying it's useless, Geiger. I don't, I don't know if I'd call it amazing, though. Because, like, yeah, YouTube tends to have, like, a one or two second extra delay to Twitch. Yo, what's up, Lan? How we doing? Brute just seems better than Scrapper. Right? Is the Scrapper's crit chance really worth it compared to the Brute's just permanent double damage at Max Fury? Scrapper has a few unique powers, they do? Or do you mean power sets? Because, like, I think they're mostly the same. Like, Charged Havoc, Jacob's Build Up Thunder. Charged Havoc, Jacob's Build Up Thunder. Confront, Chain, Lightning, Lightning. Taunt chain, lightning, lightning. So the only difference is confront versus taunt, which I think is the same thing. Yeah. So I don't know what the benefit of Scrapper is versus Brute. They have Katana. Does Brute not have Katana? I thought Brute had Katana. Yeah, Brute has Katana. I think they have the entirely same primaries. Scrapper is on average more damage. Is it? Is it really? Is your JoJo character a Dominator? Yes. Stalker is good. Scrapper crit chance gets better as you slot their archetype origins. Okay. Yes, it is for sure. Do they not pop off until late game? Is that what it is? Because I've only played Scrappers till like 20. Whereas I played some Brutes till 30 to 40. And Brutes, especially early game, just hit some insane numbers with Max Fury. You know, like, we've seen peak male with some of his powers only hits for, like, 120. My level 8 unenhanced brute was hitting for 40s. It's nuts. I kind of just want to make the ultimate glass cannon. I think making a super glass cannon biggest number possible melee character sounds awesome. And the question, I guess that would technically be Stalker because of Assassin's Strike, but I don't want to play Assassin. Uh, what happened to Toxic? I'm not feeling like playing a tanker right now. Early game Brute is better, but it evens out. Okay. Stalker is Glass Cannon, and I guess if we're teaming, it's not as big a deal, but I've tried soloing with a Stalker like three times. It is boring as hell. Waiting for Hidden to come back up. Like, having to wait 10 seconds between every fight adds up. I think I want to make Scrapper work. I like the idea of Scrapper. And people are saying Scrapper does pop off. And I just don't see Scrappers anywhere. You would think Hidden could come back up if it's the last... That would be sick if, like, Hidden popped up right at the end of combat. But no, Hidden always takes 10 seconds. It might be 5, but Scrappers, yes, sir. Alright, let's do a Scrapper. What... No one uses Broadsword. Literally, no one uses Broadsword, which is funny because I think Broadsword has insanely high damage. But I'm trying to figure out what has the highest... Want me to hop on for supergroup stuff? Oh, maybe at some point. There's no rush. I'm not worried about the supergroup for, like, the first session of Villainy. I've never seen War Mace. But that looks like it's a little bit more... Crowd control? I, just, I honestly... I want to do the biggest damage possible. Like, the single heaviest hitting. Stone could be interesting. Hmm. Energy is generally the... We just did energy, though. No, don't tell me that's the highest. Whirling hands. Catch these hands. Battle axe. We're going for boom, boom damage. I want that dopamine hit every time I crit. Cleave. Massive damage, knock foes to the ground. Gash. Superior damage. I have an axe shield scrapper. Sort of like a tank with all the bang for the buck, but they're endurance heavy. Okay. I am shocked that Titan weapons don't have um, higher numbers. They're much more AoE based. Axe cyclone is a mini fold space. Oh, it pulls everyone in? That's cool. There's broadsword. 
But I think the only big damage for Broadsword is Head Splitter. Claws replicate good AoE. Electrical and Drains Gen. Fires? Okay. I think Fire's a little boring, though. Titan Weapons Bio is up there. Interesting. Kinetic Melee. I think it's all about Knockdown. Martial Arts doesn't have huge single target. Uh, I was not a fan of Street Justice. I played it to like level 10 and was already getting bored. I don't like the combo system that much. I'm much, right now I'm much more looking for a character with single massive hits rather than little spams. And Street Justice is a lot of spamming to build up combo. Same with Savage. I guess we could try Battle Axe. I've never tried Battle Axe before. Uh, what are we making today, Hell's Panda? That's what we're figuring out. We're making a, a Praetorian to start who's gonna go villain. So I guess the stream is technically mistitled, but they're still technically a villain. Street Justice has massive single hits. With uppercuts. Ooh. It's, okay. Street Justice does have its combo finishers. The crushing uppercut here. Gotcha. Battle Axe and Broadsword. Alright, alright. I think we'll go. I think we'll go Battle Axe. I'm getting a lot of things from Battle Axe. Oh, and it lowers defense too. That's cool. What is Broadsword's whole thing? Also defense. Are Broadsword and Battle Axe basically the same thing with slightly different movesets? Hmm. Alright, I like the idea of Gash this early, having such a powerful attack. That sounds super fun. So let's do Battle Axe. I want something that makes us stronger. I want, to, I want to throw defense out the window, whichever secondary can give us bonus damage. Which there's not a lot, obviously. I mean, I'd hate to do bio armor again. You're running solo or with teams? I think we're going to do teams. We always do teams on here. It's way more fun to play with the community. Uh, just so people know, we're making a Praetorian, not a villain right now. The stream title's a little confusing. Burn is OP, but the problem is this doesn't increase our primary damage. And that's what I want to upgrade. I want to... I want to upgrade our primary damage. You can have Nictus Axe as a costume option. Ooh, I can't wait to check that. I think... Are there any of these that increase the damage of our primary besides Bio? Or is it just Bio? Went through the struggle of what you do a few minutes ago. I'm normally a brute favorite guy. I wanted to get Scrapper. Okay. Yeah, Titan weapons seem like they come online pretty late with the momentum. Semi penny paper created question. What's up, Einhorn? I created like a 10,000 character contest and never end up playing. Does this happen to you with City of Heroes? Not as much lately. Uh, occasionally I'll log into the game. I won't want to play any of my mains and I'll just make something from scratch. But I never have like the urge to just go make a new character. Yo, what's up, Mackenzie? Fire does tier 7 or 8? That's burn though. That uh, Oh... There's Fiery Embrace. Yeah, that makes all your attacks deal bonus fire damage. Rad Armor? Let's see. Beta Decay does reduce defense. Does anything reduce resistance? Do any of the secondaries reduce enemy resistance? They all seem to reduce defense, but not resistance. Ninjutsu? Well, Stealth, do you have a chance? Oh, cool. That would be a... St uh, scrapper that can go stealth. That's pretty sick. Recover endurance. Heal. Minimize damage taken. Hmm. I just like picking an archetype and hard running down that avenue. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. Is I just want big Bunko number. I want Uga Booga number. So shield defense against all odds is a thing. Maybe we'll go shield. I know, I know Vandalf was just talking about their battle axe shield defense, but that, that right there is huge. Like, look at this. That is 12% to all damage base, plus 7% to all damage per extra target, up to 10 targets. If you're surrounded by 10 enemies, that's an 80% damage buff. That's kind of crazy, right? Like, that's nuts. Is there anything else that gives that? I know invulnerability gives one... Uh, or no, is it not invulnerability? Let me 
Let's see. Pavlovian alt-itis. <laughs> oh, I know, Tricknik. That's why I'm trying to find the, the little outliers that can increase our damage. It's looking like it's going to be shield defense or bio. I don't want to do bio again because we just did bio on peak mail. Uh, shield just might be great. I love any ability that gets stronger the more enemies are around you. Are there any more of those? That buffs my defense. Oh, here's the one. Uh, defense bonus. IF is the main word. IF. I don't know what that means. Willpower has one, but for regeneration. This one has one, but for um, recharge. Which, the recharge bonus from radiation wouldn't be bad either, but we're, we don't care about recharge. We care about one giant number. That is all this character is going for, is the biggest single possible number. And I think that's going to come from Cleave? Which is why I'm tempted to go Broadsword now, because Head Splitter. I think Head Splitter might do... Well, actually, we can, we can check the damage here. Head Splitter... At level 50. Does 162 base. Uh, so let me check all of these. At level 50, 100 base, 62 base, 76 base, 73. 162 base compared to battle axe. Only 172 base. Wait, there it is. That's just only using fiery brace. That's weird. I think that's a glitch. But yeah, 172 base... 122 base. So they're very similar, but it looks like Cleave just barely out damages Head Splitter. Yo, what's up, Sky? How we doing? What archetype are we doing? We're doing Scrapper. I'm gonna make Scrapper work. I think I think it's I think it's shield defense. Axe shield and sword shield might be a little bit basic, but Phalanx fighting is just or no, uh, against all odds, it's just so good. No, you're not always surrounded. But if we're playing in group content, yes, you are always surrounded. Yeah, we have to go shield defense. 80% bonus damage, that's what we're looking for. Uh, so we're just going to start with um, melee resistance. Battle axe. I think it caps at 10 enemies. It does cap at 10 enemies, but it's still an 80% damage buff. Welcome to red side, best side. Uh, for clarity, we are actually starting yellow side. We're starting Praetorian until 20, and then we're going to go villain. So if you want to join up in the team, make a Praetorian. I just want to check if anything else here out damages 170 base power. Does anything else here out damage 170 base? Because that's what we're looking for. All we're looking for is highest base damage. Looks like at, even at combo level. Oh! Uh, no, that's only 130. That base at highest is smat. That is uh, lethal. That's true. It'll be more likely resisted. You're not wrong. Oh, I'm looking at level 1. Whoops. 100. 140. Close. Whoa! Base 182! Oh, yeah, we're, we don't care about attack speed. We don't care about recharge speed. We are just looking at the biggest possible number. Okay, hold on. War Mace is clobber. Base 182. That's a lot higher. Interesting. Blink 182. <laughs> Do we just make Blink 182? Uh, what about stone? I feel like stone could have some heavy. Base 142, base 102. Oh, yeah. It's all coming base 222! Whoa! Hold up, did we just find it? Is that the one? Oh my god! This might be the one. Base 222! And we can use it with shield! Oh my god! Thank you for the drink, Nobi. I think we found it. 
I think it's Seismic Smash. Oh, no! No! Yare, yare, does it. Can you see? Uh, can anybody in chat see the problem with why we can't use Seismic Smash? Bonus points to anybody who can figure out why Seismic Smash is not the highest damage potential. Nope, not recharge. I want to see who. I want to see who knows this. Who who sees this? I want. I just want to know who sees it first. Let's go, chat. We're not moving on until someone someone guesses right. Your reward for guessing right is that the stream continues. Ah, Geiger, crit problems. Yep, no double crit damage. It only does twenty eight percent crit damage. Damn it. All right. Uh, but I was looking at some of these wrong. Uh, like, I don't think I had all of these set to 50. Whoa! Crushing Uppercut, base 248 at combo level 3. Was I looking at War Mace at 50? Just want to make sure. Yeah, is that the highest we've seen? I don't think Savage has high base. 112. Yeah, Savage is all about bleed damage. Rad. Base 148, or uh, 190 something, it's not bad either. But, so, Street Justice, huh? Crushing Uppercut, base 248, that's crazy. Is Shatter not more damage than Clobber? Shatter? Is Shatter more damage? Uh, only base 142. So, no, it's not. What's up? <laughs> ah, nice, nice intro, Neko. Uh, Alright, so it's looking like Street Justice so far. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, Vin Vin. We'll probably read and decide. 160. <laughs> Boggle. Boggle! Uh, someday. Not today, but someday I will make Hank Hill. And I will edit the sound files to just, whenever I use this ability, have Hank Hill going, Boggle! Yeah, this is all going to be lower because it's psionic, and psionic is never resisted. Martial arts at 50, 142. Yeah, nothing's even coming close to street justice now. Energy. Not even close. <laughs> what appears to be your boggle. I believe I can only say it that way, by the way. Oh, shoot. Come back. So I checked this at 50, right? Did I check this at 50? Yeah, no, it is 100%. But it's so easy to get combo level 3. You know? It's really, really easy to get combo level 3. It's just any three abilities. So, okay. We're gonna go... I did not expect to go Street Justice. Read the description of each set. Combo builders add to your combo level and power any finishers you use. Yeah, that's easy. Some sets have increased crit chance baked in. I don't care about crit chance. We are carry caring about highest single target single hit. We are going for the highest potential damage number in the game. Yeah, I, I know Street Justice has some really badass uh, animations. So, alright. I, I, I didn't check electrical. I guarantee it's not going to have anything super high damage. Higher than I expected. 186 on Thunderstrike. Okay. Electric putting up a good fight, but nothing can quite hit. Nothing can quite reach that insane crushing uppercut. Two nothing even beat 200. No other power set even beat 200 base damage. Uh, I don't think power transfer is that strong on its own. Energy transfer, 130. 285. Wait, I didn't know... I didn't know energy transfer was that strong. Wait. Wait. 285? I, 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 just, I see this symbol. I see the weird transfer symbol. I didn't think... Oh, it doesn't crit? Oh, you're right. I didn't see a... Yeah, wait. No, you're right. There's no chance... Oh, that would have sucked to get that far. Total focus is only 160. 
Um... Average, I do not trust anything. I do not trust these average damages or anything like that. Look at Electric's tier 9. Lightning Clap? 46? <laughs> it, it doesn't do damage. Tier 9 doesn't do damage. Um, I can't count. Lightning Rod. Uh, 140. I guess altogether it's a lot. Altogether it's about 290. Three different damage types. Uh, with a minute and a half cooldown. I think we're gonna go Street Justice. I think... I think we're we're gonna be looking at Street Justice. Lightning Rod is also an AoE. That's cool. But... Yeah. I think... Yo! Cat's alive! Hope your first day at work went well. And your second if you had one of those. Are you doing the Praetor, uh, Praetoria tutorial? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't look at Dark Melee. I guarantee Dark Melee. Oh, we actually, we already played Dark Melee on Tall Vampire Lady. God rest her lack of soul. Alright, I think... I think it's Street Justice. Maybe, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe something else could be higher. But I know this can crit. Let me double check. This can crit, right? 5% chance for 200 extra smashing damage. So on a critical hit, at level 50 base, a crit is doing 450 damage. Base. Love super strength on a scrapper. I don't know super strength that well. Does Brute get super strength? Did they remove super? Oh, no, there it is. Hold on. This is important too. What's, what are the base damages on here on Brute? Only, only 68. That's a lot lower than I expected. Maybe that's a Brute thing. Maybe Brute bases are just a lot lower. Okay. Actually, yeah, we can check that right now. Here, uh, Street Justice. Base level 50. Combo level 3, only base 165. Compared to the Scrapper's level 50, which is 240. Okay. That's the big difference between Brutes and Scrappers. Scrappers have way higher base damage. Nice. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do Street Justice. We're gonna do it. Start by bopping people on the snoot. Uh, we're doing that. We're doing shield. What a weird combo. Street justice, shield? I don't hate it. Uh, we should play a female. We have not played a female yet. Let's go a little bit taller. What server are the villains being played on? Torchbearer. Let's go, let's go thick. Thick mommy question mark? It's so weird how the hips just move the legs. They don't really do anything to the hips. The actual hips. I guess Tall Vampire Lady was female. That's true. Alright. Hello. That's a, that's a set. Alright. Alright. What are we making? That's the question. What are we making for a character? Something we have to look at for a long time. So let's clear. I had to stretch up to grab stuff far back on the top shelf. My feet were killing me. But you're okay now? Good. That means you worked hard. <laughs> or something else that... Old disgruntled people say. <laughs> Alright. So, a shield user street justice. So they're gonna have a shield in one hand and they just bop you with the other. I guess we're Captain America. We're, we're literally Captain America. Uh, as for origin, natural? I guess natural works. Alright, this is someone who has just earned their power. Like, they just worked hard. Sit-ups, push-ups, and plenty of juice. Let's see. Who's... Who is just like... Oh, that's right. We're a villain, too. So we need to keep that in mind. Praetorian. A base. This is tough. This is the hardest part of character creation for me. Is finding a base idea. Bald with a yellow... Wait. What if she's just a forklift operator? <laughs> what if she's just a forklift operator? Is the name... Oh, it's unavailable! Damn it! <laughs> what if we what if we remove this space? Yes! <laughs> alright, we're making a forklift operator. Please nobody take it. Alright, alright. So she needs to have a hat. I think it's technically a helmet. Hold on. Okay, no, it's gonna be a hat. Um uh, hat. Oh, yeah, you know the actual forklift operator is a, is a gravity controller or a dominator, 
Uh, is she forklift certified? Isn't that the question? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be like, yellow. Uh, hold on, I need to look up, uh, construction uniform. What does it look like? Oh, it's right, it's, it's like orange and silver. So we're gonna go like silver and orange. All right, we need... What kind of hat do they wear? Oh, that's right, it's like the, the little... It's, it's very easy once you see it. But it's gonna, be, it's gonna be white. That's gonna be white. Closer, but not quite. Are any of these labeled, like, construction? Safety helmet. Yeah, it's a safety helmet. Is it a half helmet? Hmm. Like, these are close, but it doesn't go that low. That's... Nah, nah, I don't like that. Don't think there's anything... Very hard hat! That's what I was looking for. There's not a hard hat? Are you serious? That's kind of shocking. Stone? Hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't go that low on the sides, the problem. It just covers the top. Street just says great CC. That's good. Full helmets go all the way over, yeah. That's too high tech. Could do a ball cap? Maybe. That's not bad. Wait, what if we just do... What if we just do that? There we go! That works! We got there! The M1 helmet! Of course! Uh, we never, I never changed the face shape. Strong. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't think she needs... Oh, she needs sunglasses. She definitely needs sunglasses. Mm, not, not quite. Barbed wire. Let's see. It might just be the aviators. Let's see what else we can find. Safety glasses? Yeah. Horns. Perfect. Spike eyes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wonderful. Love it. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. Now we just need, like, a t-shirt with a vest over it. Sleeveless jacket? It might be a sleeveless jacket. Uniform. Do they have one for, like, construction workers? That's not terrible. If we do that with just, like... Eh, it's not quite big enough. It's way too small. Fire Aura is the best defensive secondary. Yeah, but that's for a bunch of extra damage from fire. I want our primary to be hitting as hard as possible. Military vest? Eh, not quite. We might be able to put a pat- Oh, you can't put a pattern on that? Damn it. What else could we use? Shirts? No. No, it's gotta be a sleeveless jacket. So I think... This is just a little bigger. Was it supposed to cover the front? K 
can't even put a pattern on the vest? Really? The shield to be a shut stop sign? I agree. It sucks that we can't put patterns on these. That's what's holding us back. Not the worst in the world. It might have to be that one. Let's see what we do with the undersides. We want a, like a like a flannel or like a t-shirt. Uh, not a belly tee. Do they have flannel? I don't know if they do. That's that's just naked. Okay, uh, but this doesn't need to be that. Let's do like a like a dark red. All right, so we're looking for something to wear underneath. Tank top. There's just a t-shirt. You're just gonna make a hero that's a baseball player? Amazing. The tee's fine. That kinda works. Is this an evil forklift simulator? Aren't they all? Aren't they all evil forklift simulators? All right, we'll go with the t-shirt. Uh, No flannel, but Jester with Jester pattern. Let's see that. Where was Jester? Jester with the Jester pattern. Uh, That doesn't do much. It's still all red, unfortunately. It still has to all be the same color, which kind of sucks. Safety vests are a brighter orange. Can't really get much brighter. Unless you mean like that. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That is way more accurate. Okay. Uh, I don't hate the Jester. I just wish it was, I wish I could color it better. Yeah, we'll go with the t-shirt. I just can't even add a pattern to the t-shirt. That sucks. All right. But this will go with like... No, last option, scroll down. For Jester? Wait, Jester and the last option? What? Oh! Oh my god! There's two different Jester patterns? What? Hello! Okay, so we go like brown and like gray? Mm, brown and like... What would you call flannel? So usually, I guess it's like usually like a gray and a darker gray. If we go like this and that, that's not bad. I don't usually do battle cries, unfortunately. It's not terrible. And then gloves, I think we just want like barehanded. It's probably fine. We're not gonna see the hands much anyway. Uh, we can wear gl like small gloves maybe. Ah, bare hands. I forget, do they have fingerless gloves? Fingerless gloves are... Fingerless gloves are cool. I like fingerless gloves. There we go. That works. Fingerless gloves are cool. <laughs> I had such an obsession with fingerless gloves as a kid. It's not even funny. Alright, and do they usually wear, like, khakis? Khakis or jeans, yeah. Uh, do they wear a belt? Do they tend to wear a belt? No, the vest usually goes over the belt anyway. Yo, what's up, Vincerus? We are making our evil forklift, op forklift operator. <laughs> the small pad gloves look a bit better. What are the small pad gloves? Are they called that? Small pad? Oh, those aren't bad. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll uh, we'll have those match the... We'll have those match the, the vest. Not bare design. Uh, I'm actually very happy with how this turned out, so I'm not worried about looking at anything else. Alright. Yeah, the, the pants of this game look pretty decent. 
tight pants or khakis? I like the khakis. Oh, they're so gross. You want to go with like a, like a brown? Yeah, now we're talking. Oh god, I hate it. Boots have to be like work boots. Yep, exactly. Black and black. Oh man, construction work jeans. That's true. If she's on the field, jeans. Oh god, those look gross. Oh, there it is. Ain't that the one? Embroider. <laughs> Uh, I don't think she needs a belt, no. I don't think you'd wear a belt to a construction site. Can you put a rim on the hat? No, unfortunately. The hat has, like, no customization. Morning, Runia! How you doing? Uh, I'm loving this, though. I am loving our strong forklift operator. <laughs> Belts hold the pants up? I'm doing okay. Honestly, I'm doing better than I thought it was going to be today. Is there... Cavalier shield? What are the different types of shields? What? Oh, weird. Okay, so... Is there a... Is there a stop sign? Please tell me there's a stop sign. Please tell me there is a stop sign. Belts are considered... Thank you, Fables! Manhole cover wouldn't be bad. Would a construction app be yellow? Would it? Okay, apocalyptic pro uh, manhole or Romulus. Go a lighter shade of blue. I guess that's better, yeah. So hold on. Someone said apocalyptic. Ah, there it is! Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I love this game so much. We can put nails in it! Yo, it's got nails sticking out of it. That's brutal. Oh my god, I love it. Damn. Can I change the color? Oh, you can! Oh my god. <laughs> yes! This is the dumbest thing in the world. No, no back detail. But apparently, okay, so someone said belts are required, like, by law. So, it's like a standard belt. Standard gray black belt. That's as, that's as dark as it goes. So they're just like a. The belts in this game are so big. That's the problem I have with them. They're massive. There's no just, like, standard little belts. Forklift operators wear yellow hard hats. Okay, I will change it to yellow. Thank you. I just don't like the belts in this game. Office belt? Office. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I must have overlooked that one every time. Yo, we kind of caked up, though. Hello. That's fine. All right, and then we gotta we gotta go accordance with OSHA, you know. OSHA dictates. All right, let me make sure we got the forklift operator images. Hold up, these guys have white helmets. These guys, okay, that one has a yellow helmet. Yo, wait, hold on, that's just our character. Wait a second, wait a second. This is just the character we made. Like, per I didn't use this image as a, um, hold on, uh, open image and new tab. I did not use this image as reference, but we 100% just made this person perfectly. <laughs> uh, save, OBS. Look at this. Look how perfectly we did this. Look how perfectly <laughs> we did this. <laughs> it's just... Literally on point. <laughs> I did not use this image as a reference. Just nailed it. Let's go. Alright, get out of here. Let me pull up all my chat and stuff again. Alright. Street Justice. I guess we just go original. Yeah, we don't need any fancy things there. Nothing there. Alright, cool. As was foretold by the site manager. Alright, I'm gonna save this costume. 
Uh, enter name here, forklift. Sick. Jesus, that scared me. Okay. Oh yeah, it's all come together. I operate forklifts. And justice! Oh, thank you for bones! I have felt a whole lot less tense since introducing that one. It makes... Why are our... Hold on, do you see our calves? Wait, why are our calves gigantic? Oh, um... Forklift. And... Uh... Villain. Uh, I operate forklifts. And... Uh... What's, what's the villain form of Justin? <laughs> Your mom? Uh... Uh... And forklift... <laughs> I operate forklifts and forklift accessories. <laughs> um... Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, hold on. No, don't load in. Don't load in. Don't load in. No. Okay. Uh, origin is natural. We're doing Praetorian. If you want to join on a team, you gotta make a Praetorian. Here. Tutorial. Yes. Yo, what's up, Axel? This is not a mastermind. No, we're a scrapper. I don't think I've actually ever played this tutorial. Alright, let's go! Oh, hold on. Oh, god. My, my... Every time I make a new character, it gets me. Uh, left, right, left, right. Apply. I try saving the file, it doesn't work. Alright. <laughs> what's up, Knife Draw? Is everyone here... Is everyone here, here for a team? If so, can you all just like, judge a number and I'll just invite everyone who's judging? <laughs> oh my god. Hello there. Alright. Invite. I assume you're here. For the team. Invite. <laughs> what is going on with thingamajig? Yeah, the gray UI is weird. Oh, there's a start vendor right here. Wow. I don't know if Shazi and Nuclear are here to join the team. But I'll wait. I made a character but didn't show up there. Did you choose Praetorian, Vinvin? Vin? Ah, there you go. That'll do it. Tor yeah, also on Torchbearer. You skip the tutorial. So if you want to join the team, hold up a number. I'm just having people hold up a number so I know who to... There we go, perfect. Invite the team. Ooh, Defender. Hell yeah, what kind of Defender we got? Hold on, I'm gonna... If you're dressed like that, I'm gonna get... Oh, hold on, let me, let me guess power sets here. Let me guess power sets. What was... I'm guessing that was Sonic. Okay, well, I know your power set now. Sonic, Dark Guy is obviously a Dark Blaster. Kurokaze, I'm gonna guess Martial Arts Stalker? Broadsword, okay, okay. Knife Draw, I'm gonna guess is Dual Blade Scrapper? Yes, called it. Thingamajig, you're a, you're a Corrupter. You've got crystals on you, which is weird. I don't know if that's a costume choice. Oh, it could be Seismic Blast. Yeah, yeah, I think Seismic Blast would make sense. Yeah, that I should have guessed that. Never mind. Why is Crystals weird? Because I'm judgmental. <laughs> Nuclear Grav. I'm going to guess your... I mean, Gravity Control would be the obvious choice, but what makes you nuclear? Fire Assault? Fire, uh, fire Assault? Rad Assault. I should have known that. That makes more sense. And we got Vin Ven. All right, we got a team of eight. Let's do this. Are y'all ready for an eight-person tutorial? What's up, Flint? Oh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna grab the double experience right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'll do double experience once we finish Praetoria, but I want to experience the Praetorian story, which was not designed with double XP in mind. Welcome to the Powers Division, recruit. Today you'll have your first live fire mission. You've been assigned to Reese, one of the top dogs of the Power Division. Before you meet him, I'd like to send you through basic training. I don't need to go through boot camp. Wait, something isn't right here? What? What is it that's bothering you? I don't have superpowers. 
Your natural abilities far surpass those of normal beings. If you have superpowers, want to carry a gun or other weapon, or are an expert in unarmed combat, you join the powers division. It's the law. We have a 100% recruitment rate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Look, kid, you obviously don't like me, and I don't like your attitude, but if you want to get out of the power division, you have to take it up with Reese. All right, I'll do that. All right, I'm a veteran. I don't need to go through boot camp. You'll need to talk to Reese. He's a pretty busy guy, but if you want to get anywhere in Praetoria, you'll have to talk to him. Wait a second, there's something on my comm. It's the Destroyers! They're assaulting the precinct! Reese will be on the other side of the precinct. All right, let's go! Noom. Loyalists become villains. All right, we'll keep that in mind. We will go loyalist. What's up, Reese? Hey, no recruit. Don't just stand there lollygagging. Can't you see we have a situation? Here's some enhancements. Slot them and kill people. All right, fine. Cool. Got the memo about you, forklift operator. You've been assigned to my division for a while. Do you know who I am? I'm a top dog. However, I have a task. What do you need me to do? I'm turning in my resignation. Throwing in the towel your first day on the job? That's funny. You don't tell me when you resign. I tell you when you resign. Look here, you worthless tramp. Do they say that if you're a male, too? Or only if you're female? Because that's kind of fucked. Can someone playing a male-oriented character talk to them and see what they say? Because I'm kind of curious. Because if that's only to female characters, that's a little fucked. Drink! Tramp means hobo? No, that's um No, no. Uh homeless person is a different a different term. Uh transient. You're thinking transient. Transient is homeless person. Uh I work for me, got it? There's nothing new, that's why I picked you for this mission. You got spirit. I've got a lot along lot my shoulders here. I need someone who I don't need to babysit. Alright, fine. Tramp equals transient? Alright. I need you to infiltrate the resistance. There are destroyers all over the streets. It's a mess. Don't be fooled, however. They're just pawns of the real threat in peace in Pretoria, the resistance. The resistance is always looking for new recruits. I've made it known that you aren't happy to being inducted into Powers Division. This should be enough to get your foot in the door. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's go murder. Like the movie Lady and the Tramp? That's true. That's fair. You know what? That, that's a male tramp. All right, you're right. You're right. You have too many players in your team? What? You have to do this solo? Oh, come on. Damn it. That's dumb. That's so weird. Alright, you can hear the sound of clockwork. Uh-oh. Not clockwork. What's up, homie? Greetings, forklift operator. I am a, 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 a clockwork program. T -t -t to aid the resistance. The ma 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 person you are to meet is currently on the run ru 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 run from the PPD. I have been set 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 sent it's but 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 please use the supply crate to retrieve ah, 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 some inspirations. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Error. P please re 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 restate your statement as a question, please. Uh, why do you speak so strangely? Acknowledged. This clockwork has been programmed with several pre-recorded messages to better interface with end users. Unfortunately, due to some of the upgrades the clockwork has re received, the playback mechanism has been damaged, so some skip skipping is inevitable. Wait, no, I meant the other language. The recorded messages I understand. <laughs> Error, please, please. <laughs> you know what? Just forget it. <laughs> cool. Here, but please, to take this earpiece, the man you are uh, supposed to meet with will speak with you through it. Uh, cool. I ha ha have been told to direct you to the do do door up ahead. You can't can't can destroy it to m m move forward. I will stay here in the me me in the memes. You got memes? Do you got TikTok on this thing? Yo, can you go out there? Understood, forklift operator. I will return to the surface. Neat. Oh, this is fun. All right, we do this. I will use my my prestige power this time around just to speed things up. Anyway, punch. <laughs> That's our only superpower right now. <laughs> Just made a villain? Cool. Unfortunately, I, sh I should have been more clear, but we're doing Praetoria for the start. We're going to become a villain, Chris. Uh, but for the first 1 to 20, we're going to be Praetorian. 
Yo, forklift operator. It's Wrencher, the guy you're meeting with. That's... Oh. I thought those were all enemies at first. I got scared. Oh, these aren't worth any experience. I'm wasting my time. Alright, see ya. Bye-bye. Ooh, excuse me. I've still got all these buffs. Word on the street is that you ain't too pleased with being part of the... Oh, cool! They kept that in mind. Either that or that's just what they always say. We could use more folks like you. People willing to talk back to the guys in power. We can meet up. We can... Ah! Hold on, forklift operator. It's the PP. Can I, like, kill you if I want to? Sick. I'm a villain! Ha-ha! <laughs> anyway. Not the PP. You're not going anywhere, terrorist. Your attacks on the people of Praetoria end today. Forklift operator! So Praetor White couldn't just let the PP handle this, huh? As you can see, we're finishing things up here with the resistance. But I guess you're going to show us how it's done, aren't you? Are you gonna follow through on your orders? And take down this resistance scum? Ooh! Fight the PPD officers and help the members of the resistance escape. Or aid the PPD in arresting. Are you gonna do all the arcs? Uh, maybe? Whatever takes me to 20. Ooh. I like the idea of just, like, following the law. If I pick one, can I not team up with others? Wait, if I join the resistance, can I not team up with loyalists? Hmm. As a villain... Damn, they just started today. <laughs> and only 80 years from retirement. You can team with whoever. Okay, cool. Uh, I like the idea of supporting our god king, emperor. We'll remain a loyalist. Wham! Sorry, Wrencher. Loyalist is basically evil? Hell yeah. That's what forklifts are. So, here we go. Punch, punch. Well done. Lan, it sounds like anyone can choose to become anything. This is just the arc you follow in Praetoria. You made the right choice, forklift operator. Calvin Scott and his little band of subversives only want to tear us down the utopia Emperor Cole has built for us. Just remember, we don't need you here. The PP has what it takes to bring down the resistance without the help from superpowered types like you. Provost Markand is coming to speak with you. Looks like he's taking an interest in you. Hey, what's your problem? I just helped you merc this guy. The problem, forklift operator, is that I don't like it when someone assumes they can do my job better than me. We all know that Cole is recalling supers from all over the world because he thinks the PP are slacking off and bringing down the resistance. We're out to show you and Emperor Cole that the PP have what it takes to stop the resistance threat, even if we don't have your heightened abilities. I'm here to keep my job, even if some other members of the PP are slacking off. Got it? Oh, back off, buddy. I see you lost several men today. Don't let it get to you. My name is literally my job. That's true. I operate forklifts and forklift accessories. What's up, Provost? Hello, forklift operator. I am Provost Marshal Gerardi Marchand. I run all military operations for Emperor Cole. This means I also help run the PP. I'm impressed at your actions here today with the resistance. Look around you, forklift operator. All of these PP died trying to get this one resistance member. It's inefficient. I've done my best with the PP, but it isn't enough. We need people like you to help defend Praetoria against the resistance and other threats. And believe me, there are many that would seek to destroy our beautiful city. Uh, cool. They exit through the door behind me and speak with Praetor White. While I am in charge of Praetoria's military, he is the head of the powers division. You'll be able to start your career in protecting Praetoria, or perhaps your rise to power with him. He is somewhat rough around the edges, but I fully trust him with the safety of our great city. Cool. Thanks. Alright, hopefully we can get the team back together. <laughs> I'm almost out of beverage. Alright. Uh, no. Alright. Get back in here. 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 
That should be eight, I think. Was Scarlet Reaper on the team before? Oh no, Thingamajig hasn't, hasn't. Sorry, Scarlet, we're already at eight. I invited all of them back in the tutorial, but it kicked one, it kicked us apart. What other, what others pick should only affect team? Okay, I see what you're saying. All right, that is really loud. All right, let's take heavy blow for now. Took an annoying amount of time, but I did all the arcs in Praetoria. Holy cow. <laughs> the busiest Praetoria has been in a while, I believe it. Oh, I have so many things on my hotbar. Go away. Go away. All right, let's speak with Predator White, shall we? I found an exploration badge. So is this, this is back alley brawler, right? This is back alley brawler, but Praetorian. Forklift operator, heard a lot of things about you. Don't go getting all cocky just because you took down some member of the resistance. You're talking to the guy who fought during the Hamadon War, so I ain't impressed hearing that someone took down a stupid idealist who could use a gun. But you got my attention, so that means something. For now, you got some spark in you, even if you're still on the same level as most of the superpowered dogs here in Praetoria. Me? I'm the top dog. I keep all the other powered dogs in line. You want to get noticed? You want to break away from your pack and join mine? That's what you're trying to do, Forklift Operator? That's the idea, Praetor White. Tough talk now that you're with me, Forklift Operator. Seems like you changed your tune from just a while ago. Reese told me how you were wanting out of the Powers Division. Seems funny that you're suddenly all gung-ho about it. Maybe you got wise. Maybe you got a trick up your sleeve. All I know is I'm going to be keeping my eye on you. You got some potential talking to Reese like that. But we'll have to see if you got what it takes to hold your own within my group in the Powers Division. Uh, I can handle whatever it is you throw at me. That's the spirit. Before we get on the way, Forklift Operator, there's something you should know. There's a lot of stuff to be done here in Praetoria, keeping the peace and whatnot. Once you prove yourself as a member of the Powers Division, you can either continue doing work with the Loyalists, or you can go undercover into a Resistance cell. You'll have to do a lot of things for those scum in the Resistance, but it'll help us get some inside dirt on them. Like whatever the main hub is. Why did I just get signed out of my restream? Are we still live? Why did I just get signed out? Hello? I can't see chat anymore. Chat, I miss you. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please hold up the number seven. <laughs> I, I guess you can still hear me if you're dropping the yuddy yuddy does it. What do you mean select the fire hydrant? There it is. It was a white fire. That's so cheating. It was a white fire hydrant. Oh my god, come on. What do you mean a valid password? Damn it! Give me my chat back! Oh my god. I'm very upset right now. Chat, I miss you. I hope you're still here. Please come back. Everyone's holding up sevens. I think you're still here, thank god. But then where am I? I'm in CAPTCHA hell. We're back! Okay, we're back. Hello, chat. All right, we're good. <laughs> that was so weird. All right, you have an option as the member of the Loyalist to do mission on the side of the Resistance. They will play through normally. However, at certain points, you'll be able to make a contact with a high-ranking official. Okay, cool. What's next? We start working. That's what's next. Get yourself used to being in the high society of the Loyalists. Then come to me. We can get drink! moving towards escaping the base here in Praetoria. I'm almost out of drink. All right, cool. Listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. Praetoria... Praetoria's filled with yapping little dogs like you. And you know who I am? I'm the top dog. Keep it- okay, you already said that. Name's Mr. White, but between me and you, you can call me Mr. White. Got it? While Emperor calls off saving the world, I'm in charge of the muscle. I work hard to keep this city safe from the tunnel rats who think they can take away all we've worked for. That's where my powers division comes into play. I'm the division, and you guys are my power. Now let's get- now that we got that straight, stop with the jibber jabber. Let's get down to business. This day just gets better and better. We lost a lot of officers during the resistance attacks on Precinct 5 earlier. Then to make matters worse, the dumbest dirt TPN media circus decides it would be a good idea to report on it and spin the Pyrrhic victory into a crushing victory over the terrorist centerpiece in today's news. So now a riot's broken out here in the Magisterium. To top it all off, the resistance used the battle as a distraction to get at their true objective. They've taken hostages in the Ministry of Technology. I need you to get in there and rescue those hostages before someone important gets killed. I just can't believe how lax the PPD have gotten without us around. Maybe you can show them how it's done. You know, I'd go in there and take care of it myself. I even have a mind to do so anyway. 
But Cleo's right. I end up killing every cow in there at the level of the building. That wouldn't do us any favors. Alright. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep us... You know what? We can do level plus... Well, I already selected it, but... We can probably do level plus one with no enhancements. It's very dark. You're right. I guess it's nighttime, though. Am I back in chat? I feel like... People would have... Has nobody said anything in chat? Or... Is my chat broken? Okay, yeah. Chat's broken. Fantastic. Let me close and reopen this. Because... That... Okay. I was able to log back into chat. But then I just checked, like, my actual YouTube chat log. And there was definitely messages there I hadn't seen. So, hope... What have I missed? Still here on YouTube. Gonna miss stream work till 12. No! Uh... <laughs> yo, Mr. White! Okay, we're back. At least, I, I see Vin Saris' message in chat, so it's something. Alright. Why do you have Sprint Athletic run on? Because I was moving to the mission. Alright! Are we ready? We're back. We're back, in, we're back in chat. Thank God. I'm scared. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna totally die. Here, maybe... Come on out! Here they come! Let's do it! Go, go, go! No, no, no! Wham. Bam. Slam. Oh, we got, oh, we got a boss already. Hell yeah. Ah, and now we can see who is and isn't using the double XP boost. <laughs> I am the pseudo tank, but I'm also a scrapper, so I'm not the tank. Well, I guess I am. Me and me and Knife are gonna be the tankiest people on the team, so this will be interesting. I wanted a glass cannon, and that's what I got. There's a level up. Hell yeah. We got a boss. Let him have it. Punch, punch. Followed by punchy. Ooh, crit for 42 damage at level three. Don't mind if I do. I'm so excited to see what kind of damage we can deal. Twenty-one damage base. Wow, kind of nutty. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of shields. Our damage resistance is probably through the roof, because that's eighteen percent plus twenty percent. Wow. Yeah, we've got thirty-eight percent lethal resist right now. That's kind of crazy. Plus my defense from my shield. Let's go. You can't hit me. Oh, look at all the misses. That's so cool looking. Just all the bullets going flying around me. Hell yeah. It's because we have the level up um, inspirations right now. It's still sick. I love how epic low level City of Heroes can look. Like, we're all basically still level 2. We haven't gotten our new powers yet. There's just all this going on at level 2. I love it. We should go Loyalist Power Root. I'm just going to go with whatever feels natural for this character. My character's an asshole. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, and Cold Guy fell in his face tanking again. It is just like normal City of Heroes. Oh no, wait, everyone's dying. Wait, 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 That was close. This is bad. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is really bad. Wait a second. Did someone pull another group? Did someone pull a second group? I think that's what happened. Cold guy, did you pull a second group? It was not you. Pardon if I have a hard time believing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God! Oh, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta punch. Oh, we gotta go. Look, I just operate the forklift, okay? This ain't my job. At least my crits have been on point. Anyway, see ya! Bye-bye! Mewm.
Oh, trust me, I'm I'm well aware. Chemical crash, the ten times damage while resting, it's brutal. All right. Anyway. <sighs> Classic. Yeah, we just... All of our level up inspirations wore off, and someone pulled a second group on an eight-person mission at level three. So, that's bound to happen. While we wait for everybody, I'm going to go get another seltzer water, because I have a seltzer addiction. It's so good. Okay. Chat, I'm about to teach you a life hack. Are you ready? This is... Welcome to 5 Minute Crafts. <laughs> Alright. Hold on, hold on. Let me, um... Uh... Royalty free music. This is important, this is important. Because I need to teach you a life hack. Uh, Ben sound. Give me something happy. I just need, I just need like a, a happy little... guys, welcome to 5 Minute Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you something super useful. If you like G Fuel, but you wish it was carbonated, like your normal energy drinks you can find at the store. Freesound.com. <laughs> I got a hack for you. All you need is G Fuel, a cup, a seltzer water, and a mixer. You can use a spoon, but I prefer to use an electric mixer. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your G Fuel flavor of choice. Make sure it goes well with the seltzer flavor you pick. Take a nice serving. Uh, make sure you spill the powder all over your fucking desk, cause you're a goddamn slob. And once you've got a nice little layer of crack cocaine at the bottom of your glass, DRINK! <laughs> <laughs> Just crack your seltzer. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Now, you're gonna take the seltzer and pour it into your crack. Make sure it doesn't bubble over because it will react slightly. You're gonna wanna save a little bit of room because now we're gonna take our mixer and you might never guess this, we're gonna use it to mix. Make sure that it dissolves all the G fuel right into the cup. Soda manufacturers don't want you to know this one trick. <laughs> then, top it off with the rest of your seltzer water. Oh, fuck! Give it one final mix. And just like that, <laughs> you've got carbonated G Fuel right at home. Be sure to like and subscribe for more five minute hacks. Also, use code NONAT, N O N A T, at checkout for up to 30% off your G Fuel order. Thanks. Sorry, what's happening? Be sure to spill your drink all over your desk too. <laughs> anyway, I sorry, I blacked out for three minutes. What? What did I miss? <laughs> Yo, let's go, let's go, cat. And anyone on stream can do uh, exclamation point uh, G fuel. By the way, I think. Oh, uh, but no, but like, legitimately, this is how I love to drink my G Fuel. It just adds, that, adds the nice bubbles to the G Fuel flavor. 
spilled in your keyboard. Yeah, it makes your keyboard more effective. That's true. That's a true fact that I just made up. Alright, let's go. <laughs> does G Fuel have non-caffeinated options? It does, actually. Yes. It has two or three hydration formulas. Um, it's super cringy and anime, but I highly recommend the white peach Naruto flavor. It's great. Like, the white peach Naruto flavor, super, um, super refreshing. I have that, like, I, like, I love the taste of G Fuel, so I'll usually want a second cup. The hydration is nice to have so I can pretend I'm having more caffeine without actually having more caffeine. Please do clip it, Cat. I will, I will post, post to the YouTube channel as a, as a clip if you can get it to me. I don't think you can clip the whole thing, but <laughs> you can get the most important parts. Damage, go! Did someone give me their huge damage buff? Blah! Yo, Knife Draw has the freaking Clockwork Staff? What? That was cool. What server for the villains? Torchbearer. It'd have to be yeah, over two clips. The clip is one minute max. Nemesis Staff is on the start. Oh, it's just an extra power. Gotcha. Punch him! Oh, I love that, like, some of my punches just, like, whack them with my shield. That's sick. Yo, what's up, Ford? Don't be blind. It clips beyond the gold. God, this is cool. I actually really like the Street Justice animations with the shield out. I dig it. Nice job. We'll be fine. Suicide mission. After taking Ford down, you found a small audio device in one of his pockets. You flip it on and hear his voice saying the following. To whatever chomper this is, you're probably tossing a shadow over my corpse right now. If not, then you missed the party. My name is... well, it was Ford. But nobody gives a puff what my real name was, so it doesn't float to ponder on it. We red riding hooded into the Ministry of Technology, knowing we'd all get corpsed. See, you must be grinding gears as to why we do it. We did it to send a big old message out to the sheeple here in- He unironically used the term sheeple! Oh no, it's Alex Jones! Oh, they're turning the frickin' frogs gay! No matter how fluffy the names are, these government agencies don't work for you! They work to enslave you! Open your peepers! Rub the sleep from them! Can you even cogitate what went through your heads to do this? The hours and days we took reflecting on ourselves to come to the decision to deliver a message that only our corpses alone could deliver! Or do you even know what happened to us? We brave few who took a jab against the Emperor's stack of cards. Did TPN even pipe this story into your brains? Wake up! The gold and whitewash isn't that thick. Dig a little, you'll find the dirt underneath and the bodies this city's really built upon. The wars are over, Cole. Give the people back the freedom they entrusted to you. Or do you not trust us in return? Thank you, that was my Alex Jones impersonation. I will take your gifted subscriptions on Twitch now. Don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime and you have not given a streamer your Prime sub, that's free money that you're not giving to somebody. So, might as well. Alright, Praetor White, let's go. Also, I want to level up first. Scott, you absolute legend. Let's go. Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, you're not the level upper. Are you the level upper? Hey, Miss Liberty. Sorry, Praetor Duncan. Level up. Uh, let's go boom and boom. And we will get our combo. Yeah, let's get our combo finisher. Boop. Ooh, Provost Marchand. <gasps> Oh, excuse you, my golly. Forklift operator, you didn't get yourself killed. Good job taking down those scumbags. What's this, a recording? Drink! Okay, God. Those resistance fighters knew they were on a one-way ticket into the ministry, and they went in anyway. Those damn fools are fighting the wrong side. Well, I'd strangle my own mother for dedication like that in the pee, -pee. Instead, here I am in charge of a damn Peace Corps who ain't fought a real fight in their lives! This is any indication of the future, and I get the feeling that everything's about to change, forklift operator, and not at all for the better. You got a phone on you? Good, call me. We're going to date sometime. Speaking of changes, 
The first thing I did this morning was triple the number of pee pee patrols. <laughs> first thing I did was triple the number of pee pee patrols in the town. Calvin Scott is still at large, and we have all reports that he's somewhere down there, along with a few resistance staging areas. Well, I just got word that a PP search team ran into some real trouble and need the kind of help that only Powers Division can offer. <laughs> Seeing as how you're here and you can hold your own against that gutter trash, I'm sending you in to bring those fools out. Find Officer Depp. He's the one who retreated back into communication range and radioed for Powers Division help. That's the fighting spirit. Get our boys out of there alive. And another thing, make those little tunnel rats wish they were never born. Listen. Listen. No, no, Lan. I'm like 98% sure it's PP. Yeah, see? Rescue PP in tunnel. <laughs> you just got pee peed. <laughs> I am 12 years old. Ugh. We have the Paragon Police. Echoing up from the tunnels, you hear the signature sound of resistance power guns blasting into a PP deflector. Shh. Is that just a chastity belt? A PP deflector shield? <coughs> oh my god. Anyway, let's go. Behold my PP deflector shield. It protects my virgin. <laughs> anyway, let's kill some resistance. Die, everybody! Haha! <laughs> oh, that is so many enemies. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Whammo! Nice level up. Kablam! Music is very loud. Is this music loud as balls for you too? Also, I don't know why my my vocabulary is like incredibly childish today, and I don't know why. I'm not necessarily gonna apologize for it. I think I'm just in a really good mood today. Let him have it. Bam! 35. Hell yeah. Is that a crit? We would have crit for 70 at level 5. That would be amazing. Can you imagine? What? Can't hear you over the music. Cool. Glad to hear it. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, there we go. That should be a little better for y'all. There's more over here. Keep murdering. Wham! 30 damage. Yeah, normally I'd agree with your strategy there, Lan, but this early on, it's not that important to focus down the, the weak ones. It is City of Heroes, uh, Matt Top. It's great. Is there any place in Discord for clips? Um, Cat, are you a mod on Discord? If so, feel free to make one. Played this as a kid, me too, Matt. I played this so much when I was like 10, 11 years old. Uh, and then when it came back in January officially, I jumped right on it. I'm in love with this game again. And I've been playing it for like three months now. I can't stop. <laughs> like even on my days I'm not streaming, I'm often playing and grinding alts. Because I just love this game. I love the power sets. And I think now that we have our first level 50, I'm so excited to start playing with like bonkers build ideas like this one we're going for the highest single numbers we can possibly hit so at level four once we max out this character we are going for just pure optimum damage on our final ability our crushing uppercut because i th i bet we can break a thousand damage i'm saying that right now 
almost without a shadow of a doubt, I think we can crack a thousand damage on this character. I would be shocked if we can't. Which, for context, for those of you who have been watching, Peak Mail, our Sentinel, I think the highest amount of damage Peak Mail has ever hit for against an even leveled opponent is like maybe like 400? Maybe 500 against some weaker opponents? So, I think we can over-double that with Forklift Operator here. <laughs> and attacking lower level enemies don't count, because they have like negative damage resistance against you. Punch. But yeah, Matt, have you played since it came back? Because the server got a legal license back in January. Did a mission yesterday as a hero, where I went to an alternate Earth and apparently killed everyone? Like you do. You know. Just, a, just some casual genocide with the boys. Do you know, is that not usually on your day-to-day -day docket? Mm, kablamo! Oh, one shot. We're already one-shotting mobs with our uh, level three uh, combo. Kawam! Dude, we just hit for like 90 damage. No, 80 damage. Alright, our, I'm going to keep track of our highest damage hit. Our max damage we've hit is 80 at level 6. Granted, we had a damage enhancement on, but still, that's insane numbers for level 6. Bonk. Even without the damage enhancement on, if we crit our our cross strike, we're hitting for 60. At level 6. I believe as the kids say, Sugoi. Wonk. Go. Meow. Meow. Ooh. So about Scrappers versus Brutes, don't get me wrong, Brutes still have a way higher average damage. My my level 6 Brute, I think, was hitting for like 40s or 50s without a crit. Because Brutes can't crit. So, I'm not saying the Scrappers out damage them yet, but I am saying their single hits are very, very satisfying when they crit. I just, I want to crit... Ah, oh, 27. I really want to crit one of my um, Cross Strikes. I last played over a decade ago, totally forgot about this game, but heard about the uh, license of the news. Just make your first character. Hell yeah, Matt! We usually, uh, our Excelsior is our main. Uh, that's where my first 50 is. We play, uh, yeah, heroes on Excelsior, villains on Torchbearer. Um, yeah, it's been a blast. I just did my first Ricky Mothership raid last week. It's been awesome. Thank you. Oh, 40 crit. Hell yeah. How's playing Goldside? It's fun so far. It's, it's cool fighting the new enemy types. And I, I am such a sucker for doing low-level content with a huge team. It's really satisfying. Like, these missions are supposed to be, like... Each of these groups is supposed to be, like, two enemies. But because there's eight of us, there's about 16 enemies per group. It's awesome. This game is absolutely meant to be played as a team of eight. Why am I getting so many big reds, by the way? I've definitely gotten at least three of them. Goldside is actually the best written. I can already tell. It's got a lot more dialect like text per quest. And I can tell it's not afraid to get dark. You know, the first, literally your first mission is killing a bunch of resistance and finding out they knew they were going to die. They literally went, I don't want to get demonetized, on a dying mission. Like, they went on a mission knowing they would die. It's undermined that there are acquired solo missions. Are there more solo missions? Really? Oh no, don't tell me that. Oh my god, these level ups come so fast in modern day. Although we're on, tor uh, does Torchbearer have a damage, uh, an XP buff right now? I don't actually know. Don't think I'm a mod in there. Um, let me see, here, I'll mod you real quick. I, I have, <laughs> I have lackeys to do the mission for me. 
Uh, where is maybe a uh, cat? Oh no. Uh, is your name not maybe a cat in the server? Is that you? I can't see names because I'm on streamer mode. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Uh, gonna really know how to play Devil's Grass. What is that, Kurt? Also, good morning. Torchbear is 50%. Okay. Sixty-seven at the end. Well, the problem is I can't. I can only see the first letter of people's names in streamer mode. It's just in case Discord gets shown. It doesn't leak a bunch of um names, unfortunately. So it's a good thing, but I just can't see it. Hi, Punchy. Already level seven. I don't even have an XP boost on. My God, I cannot believe we're already level seven. Uh, can you? Maybe if you DM me, cat. I don't know. Uh, you're in my DMs. What am I saying? We DM'd like last week. Let me see. At least I thought we did. Am I crazy? Didn't you DM me on like Monday? I talked to a lot of people. No. That's you. Okay, there you are. I see you. Can I, like, mod you from here? I can't. Oh, it's annoying. I don't know how to find you. It's annoying. All right, I'll have to do it after the stream. All right. <gasps> Dread! Oh my god, darling, how you doing? been too long, too long. It's been nice seeing you on Twitter again. Mastermind, Demon, so oh, nice. Does the shield help boost damage? Yes, Matt. Uh, specifically, we are looking forward to against all odds. I can't, uh, I can't check it from here. Against all odds is when it's active, you get a flat 12% damage buff. And then for every other enemy around you, you get another like 6% damage buff. So at max, it's close to it's close to 80% bonus damage if you're surrounded by 10 enemies. It's phenomenal. I was I was looking for a secondary that buffed our our damage. There's not a lot of them. There was um there was a few that like reduced defense, but defense in this game only increases chance to hit. So unfortunately it did not work out. So this is the best option, which again, 80% bonus damage is fantastic. Oh, Dread, it's so good to have you around here again. I've missed seeing you. Hopefully I'll be able to start streaming at other times during the week. I've th I've I've been really torn because lately I've been wanting to start doing a Saturday stream. My Saturdays are almost always open except for tomorrow. And I've really wanted to start adding a Saturday stream into my rotation. The problem is that I don't necessarily want to give up my Saturdays, if that makes sense. I don't want to... Because Saturdays are my only guaranteed free day. Tuesdays and Thursdays kind of are, but I want to start streaming on those days too. But typically Tuesday... So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have stream. Tuesdays, I have rehearsal. Thursdays are in the air right now. I might be able to start sneaking in a, 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 a late night stream on Thursdays. Uh, Fridays, I have stream. Saturdays are open. Sundays, I have rehearsal. Check out your vids, gotta head to work, but I'll try catching your stream again sometime. Awesome! Have a great day at work, Matt. Thanks for stopping by. One Saturday a month. I might just become like an if I am available. If I don't have any other plans, I'll do Saturday. And if I do, it'll be nighttime. Because I want to stream at night. Because so much of my audience is in America. You know what America does from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Work. Everybody has jobs. And what I've learned is most of my audience is people who can afford to watch streams at work. Which is a very small percentage of people. So I think if I can stream at night when people aren't at work, when people are relaxing and chill, I think, A, there's a lot more possible people, and B, people will be able to play a lot more, and C, people can learn more about 
City of Heroes. You know, people will see it a lot more. Which would be great for the game. It doesn't even have to be a villain stream. Just more streams at night. Who has Sergeant Hastings, by the way? I hope one of them does. Boss name? What's going on up here? Do you see this? What is going on up here with all these boss names? Huh. Weird. Oh, that's Sergeant Hastings. Cool. Drink! I am! I haven't stopped! It's very delicious. Damn, I keep alt-tabbing and then it messes up all my windows. Love your character being traveling via- Oh yeah, the- <laughs> I hope I did that right. I can't see my OBS. That's a great mission complete sound. Yeah, no, the, the animation of this game looks so good, Dread. I love it. You should have seen our, our main character, how they ran around. Alright, we are going back to... Oh, actually, first things first is leveling up. Move them down, bones, bones, bones. The secret will keep you alive. Move your damn bones, bones, bones. Move your damn bones, bones, bones. Oh my god, the yada yada spam was incredible the other day. I had to put a delay on it, but it was funny as hell. They're still taking suggestions? Who are? Who's still taking suggestions? Raider Duncan. Give me some slots. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Oh, Dread, you're back. You're here, and you're, uh... First thing you did was have to use the grog time, of course. Did you miss it? Did you miss the dulcet tones of my voice? There's a clip of it if you want to turn it into a short. Fantastic. Thank you. Good, Dread. I hope this, uh, this gives you the warm fuzzies you can carry with you to bed tonight. <laughs> uh, combat readiness. That is, that is just build-up. That's just 10 second build up. Not too worried about that yet. Probably take True Grit. So True Grit just gives us a lot of extra max health. Bunch of resistance. Holy cow. Yeah, I'll take True Grit. Boss names. You can change the colors. The dulcet tones of my voice. Don't you love it? The yellow level up is awesome too, yeah. Um... Alright. Oh, I see you're still taking suggestions of the names of the bosses. I see what you're saying. Ah, uh, thank you, Dread. I have like four skills on this green earth, and one of them is sounding like one of Patrick Warburton's characters. <laughs> Your build-up also gives three combo points. Oh, good to know. Thank you. And Kermit, I do enjoy doing a Kermit impression. I need to practice a little bit more. But overall, I'd say I am above average at my Kermit the Frog impression. Good job, Fork. I need to not fall into Kronk with this. I'm trying to do. Good job, Forklift Operator. Why is he Christopher Walken now? Sometimes my, my accents just fall out of control, especially when I start doing more of them. <laughs> Good job, Forklift Operator. It sounds like Sergeant Hastings and his team discovered that the Resistance were planning a large coordinated attack on the Ministry of Information. Now that they know we know that, they'd be fools to try it. Hmm. First the Ministry of Technology, and now the Ministry of Information. wonder what it is they're really after. The Resistance have shown that they plan plans within plans, and that's what happens to be a full-scale attack. It's actually just a diversion. All in all, it's not a bad day's work for the PP. But hopefully this little adventure of theirs will filter through their ranks and remind them that it'll be Bowers Division, not the Beat Gaps. I lost his voice. I'm sorry, it's gone. Well, things seem to have gone down a bit, at least enough for me to feel comfortable sending you out for an errand while I keep an eye on things. It ain't flashy, but I need it done. Think of it as a personal favor. I need you to get me some flowers for my lady. I didn't sign up for this. Listen, forklift operator, when Cleo's unhappy, I'm unhappy. And nobody wants me unhappy. Alright? Now head over to the flower vendor <clears throat> near the transit station and pick up some synthetic yellow roses. Cool. Do you have to play until you become a villain? Uh, so we're doing an alternate level up where... So this is literally an alternate universe from the rest of the game for the first 20 levels. We go through a completely unique story and then at level 20 we pick hero or villain. You can already call all the other gold side contacts. That's awesome. I'm just going to do whatever the game gives me for a while. Okay. Hello, citizen. You are looking rather sharp today. Perhaps I can interest you in some tulips or a nice floral arrangement for your domicile. Everything in my selection is locally grown in the Neuron Technologies Unlimited Synthetics Facility. 
growing beauty smarter. Uh, I want roses for Praetor White's lady. Certainly, citizen. While I check my inventory, just between you and I, Praetor White has been a repeat customer of late. I surmise that his purchase of roses for his lady are part of a human mating ritual. If that is the case, might I suggest some chocolates to accompany the roses? Yeah, he didn't ask for chocolates. He asked for roses. Deny. Are you certain, citizen? The combination of chocolates and roses has a 78% chance of a positive response. Much higher than just roses or chocolates alone. Oh, I apologize, citizen. I appear to be all out of roses. Could I interest you in another product? Hmm. Certainly. Allow me to access my inventory. I am terribly embarrassed. I appear to have nothing in stock at this time. Could I interest you in another product? Uh, who bought... You're all sold out! Pardon me, citizen. Allow me time to confirm your statement. Yes, my inventory does appear to be empty. Is there something else I can help you with? Who bought them? I cannot give you the details of a specific customer, citizen. However, I can tell you there was quite a crowd of people here earlier, and they purchased all of my inventory. Certainly, citizen. A number of citizens purchased and then took their flowers with them to honor the people killed in yesterday's terrorist attacks. Can I be of further assistance? We're gonna... G <laughs> Are we gonna go... People bought these roses to commemorate the people we killed. And so we're just going and picking the roses that they planted in memoriam. Oh my god, that's I love this game. <laughs> these roses are beautiful and thorn free to boot. Wow. We are the bad guys. Uh, because we are not villains yet, Kurt. We are not on egoism. Uh, we're not in villain side. We're Praetorians. Well, well, well. What have we here? Hold on. She's got to like, ASMR. Well, well, well. What have we here? For me? Thanks, sweetness. But what are these even for? Oh, wait a moment. I get it. Michael put you up to this, didn't he? No, actually. They're, uh, they're a gift from me. Who's Michael? Michael White. The Praetor. He's my boyfriend. Anyhow, this is very sweet of you, beautiful, but frankly, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. The name's Forklift Operator. Well, all right, then. Forklift Operator. It's a pleasure to meet you, and thank you for the gift. But I don't think Michael will appreciate you bringing me gifts, though I am flattered. <laughs> girl, Michael don't have to know. This can just be our little floral secret. You don't seem to be getting the message, forklift operator, so let me break it down to you real simple. Michael and I are together, and he will find out that one of his little pups brought me a gift because I'm going to tell him. So you may want to rethink just exactly what it is you're doing here. Uh, actually, my, these were from Michael. These weren't from me. That was uh, You misunderstood my... You put the words in... Uh, see, I got I, I to gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> and you've seen how I flirt in real life. <laughs> Did she like him? All right, good. Dodge that bullet. You know what, forklift operator? You ain't that bad. You may think that my job is pretty cushy. I'm forklift operator. Well, it isn't all flexing for cameras and sipping mimosas with the lady, let me tell you. Sometimes being in charge, you have to deal with some real steaming piles of red tape. And now's one of those times. I want you to head down to Gravitech Labs. Got a job down there that needs your attention. Listen, it's nothing fancy. Just a routine inspection of the labs. Thing is, I got wind that a peepee -pee squad went in there <laughs> to inspect the labs, led by Captain Duval from Precinct 5. The peepee -pee aren't scheduled to inspect the place for a few weeks, which makes me suspicious. Duval could just be trying to flex his muscle a little to show that he can still handle the job, but it could be something else. Everyone sees me from a mile off. Someone always snitches that the big dog's coming, so this time, I'm sending you to do the inspection for me. Might help to have someone who isn't smashing the front door down, you know? Just be careful. Some of the peepee -pee guys don't like that my power division boys are better than them. They might see you as walking in on their jurisdiction. Show them your teeth and they'll back down. Alright, cool. Go Gravitech Labs! Uh, yes, I, di I did know that Goldside does not use influence. It uses uh, information as currency, which is sick. Listen, listen. PP is not against TOS. It's Paragon Police. What? You're going to get in trouble for me talking about the Paragon Police? It's the PP Department, okay? Do you have a problem with the PP Department? <clears throat> it would appear that your surprise inspection has caught everyone off guard. 
Fantastic. What's good? Are y'all... Are y'all good, guys? Okay. They're nice. <laughs> I sure hope these guys don't all turn on us. That'd be bad. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna wait for everybody over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. How can I help you? I'm here to protect uh, inspection of the lab. I see. How very unexpected. As you can see, we're inspecting the labs right now, so there's no need for you to be here. I'm under strict orders, Captain. I see. That's very unfortunate for you, then. Not push. Shove. Oh, God. Wait, you actually did. You accidentally buffed all of them because they were all good guys at the moment. <laughs> that's hilarious. We accidentally buffed the entire enemy team. Incredible. Country Fred Frog! It's, it's the pee pee department. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that emote is, Cat, but I love it. Whack him. Also, I swear, this is not a cone. This is not a cone at all. It is the tiniest little cone. How big does it say it is? A seven foot radius cone and a 50 degree arc. That's so tiny. Ooh, 62 damage. That's a new record. Smack him. That, like that, even that only hit one target. My god. It used to be a worse cone? Oh my god. Came in specifically to use the emote priorities and respect. You like the aura you plonked on me? Which one? This one? Oh, are you a time? Are you time? I, is that? Oh, that's right. Accelerated's amazing, right? I thought. Oh no, this one. Yeah, yeah. Temporal. Yes, this one's so good. Such a good buff. Thirty percent higher recharge. Eighteen percent more damage. Fifteen percent more regen. I love that buff so much. What's up? Oh, and someone's got minus resist on enemies? Hell yeah! Did y'all make characters just to make my numbers as big? 51! Oh, we have, we have the big red, but still. 51 damage at level 8. Disgusting. Yo, what's up, PP investigator? Bam! 48. Ooh, you got reheated pizza? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Always a good time. Those rings around you give massive minus resist? Oh, let's go. You'll love to see it. And my buff is back. Where? Oh, 75! 75 damage crit is huge. What's up, Callahan? Wham! 37. Oh my god, these crits. That's right, I need to focus on the bosses, because as a scrapper, I have lower crit chance against non-bosses. Yeah, it's nice that our healers have their heals now. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're gonna buff up. And we're gonna smack him. What? I missed. Anyway. Um, let's pretend I hit for a huge damage. Whoa! Damage! Smack. Any more bosses around? Uh, you're a boss, but you're also already dead. Unfortunate. Why is your name Windshield? <laughs> Who's Windshield? Uh, where did they come from? Whoa! Hold on, we just got a bunch of spawns. Help! I'm in pain. Mother, I need more time acceleration. Wham! Fifty. Make a Titan weapon willpower. Ooh, Titan Titan weapon scrappers sounds cool. I think I like it better than Brute. Wham! I missed. Damn it. I can't wait till we get accuracy. <laughs> we got a badge. Okay. You need recharge enhancements. <laughs> Once the thermal gets rolling, you can also forge you. Wait, what's thermal? Is that uh, this? Is that thermal defense? Interesting. Show me your boss. I want to have words with your boss. Aha! I've got so much... I'm really tanky for this level, honestly. 
Oh, don't, don't, don't pull the other group. Don't pull the other group. We don't want another wipe like last time. Wham! 45. Oh, boy. Dark Guy, you're already asking for an overwhelming force. You are level 8. You don't need an attuned enhancement at level 8. <laughs> so annoying. You picked the character. <laughs> we ride. Give me a luck. Oh, it's funny. I dealt with it till like level 30 on peak mail. You can too. Go wham! Oh, come on. Stop missing my big combo. It's so exciting. 52 damage. That wasn't even my combo attack. Are you, are you ready? 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 Bam! 42 base. Katrava, good to see you. How you doing? Where's the boss? Where's the boss? There's a the boss. Give me a boss. Give me a boss. I'm gonna beat the hell out of him. 52. Boom. Only 38. No, oh, my things were off. Having a lazy start to the day? Hey, that's not always a bad thing. Those days can be nice. We all need them from time to time. Kablamo. One of these days I'll get a crit with my cross punch. That's fine. Yeah, at some point we will just need to do like a money grinding stream with peak mail. That sounds nice. Because I could use some extra money on my characters. I have my fire farm. Fire farming is not that great for money anymore. Totally not still just lounging in bed? Hell yeah. That's the best. Ba -ba Wham. Alright, Street Justice feels a lot better on a team. Street Justice, I think, is kind of boring solo. But on a team, it feels really good. Especially with the shield. I'm feeling surprisingly tanky for trying to make a glass cannon. It's just this passive um, max hit points and resistance is huge. Ayo, level 9. Right? The entire PP department showed up. My god. These these PPs need to calm down. Stop sticking themselves in everyone else's business. <clears throat> Prater White. Thanks. Oh, that's true. That's why I'm so tanky. It's because we have a, two defenders and a corruptor. That's why. Drowning in PP. <laughs> so the terrorists made a play for one of our labs. They're getting brave and desperate. Either way, it's dangerous. We got clockwork set on cutting through the cell doors to free the scientists. They sealed in the labs below. We'll have a lot of questions to answer on how this all went down. Looks like you angled yourself pretty well in there, forklift operator. You cracked down some skulls, saved the day, and walked away in one piece. I dare say you almost impressed me, which is more than I can say for Captain Duval. You know what, forklift operator? I like how you're not afraid to get someone else's blood on your fists. From now on, I'll be looking the other way when you bust them up. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's go level up. Yeah, everything just feels better on a team. Uns unslotted crushing uppercut aunt with forage on you will deal 305 damage with no slots or other buffs. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't wait until level 26. 28? I think it's 28. That's gonna be incredible. Plus, we can combat readiness before it. Oh, it's gonna just hit so hard. New power. Ooh, Rib Cracker. Adds a combo level? I've never read this one. Reduces target's damage. Reduces target's resistance! Let's go! I've gone through puberty, I swear! More resistance reduction, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, rip cracker. I can finally get rid of Brawl. Sweet. And away I go. Alright, uh, let's do Clockwork next. Uppercut just knocks the enemy right off the screen. Oh, that sounds sick. Um, let's do, let's do, let's do Clockwork. Hello, I am Clockwork A87952. I have been programmed to speak in regular speak in order to act as a liaison to members of Powers Division. There are many tasks that require the aid of Powers Division. These tasks are all assigned to me so that I may inform you of them. 
please get in touch with me whenever you can, and I shall let you know of anything happening in the glorious city of Praetoria. Are you going to slot any enhancements? I'm level 9, land. Why would I put enhancements in at level 9? Especially in a team of 8, we're fine. Let's see. Let's handle the Syndicate. The information has been sent to you. Alright, cool. Kill some Syndicate. Like, do I have anything? Yeah, they all turn red so fast, it's not really worth it. Like, I can put that in, sure. Woohoo. But, cool. You level out of them so fast, it's not even worth thinking about. Alright, Syndicate office. I don't, remember, I don't remember if I fought the Syndicate. That's such good music in this game. Yeah, that's also worth thinking about. We're level 9, we're critting for like upwards of 80, and we literally haven't even put any enhancements in. Wild. Going Loyalist or Rebel? Uh, whichever one feels more in character. I think we're going Loyalist so far. Switching over to a new character on Praetorian Earth. Storm Electric Defender. Cool. But yeah, Hellspan, I think we're going Loyalist so far. Yo, no PP in here? No PP in the office? Let's do it. Oh, why are they so high level? Whoa! Why are they so high level? Oh, that knee looks so good. Still Torchbearer, yep. Yo, the Syndicate are rad. Telekineticist? What are these guys? Wham! So sick. <laughs> the boss's name is just Suit. 36 damage. They really are from the Matrix, huh? Boy, I can't wait until I get my anti anti mez. Yo, what's up? Anyway, see ya! 64 base. That would have crit for 128 against an orange. My god, the damage. It's so good. I need to play Deus Ex. I have not played any of the Deus Ex games. Such good damage. Oh man, I am endurance heavy. Holy cow, wait. My endurance is borked. Anyway, I'm held. Anyway, I'm dying. Wait, wait, where did these guys all come from? Ow, ow, where am I going? Oh damn it, that sucks. I am s either I'm endurance heavy or something in here drains endurance. Do any of these guys drain endurance? Shield is just endurance heavy? Is it really? How endurance heavy? It's only 0.2 per second. That's the only ab ability I have on. It must be Street Justice that's this heavy. Yeah, something might be draining or limiting recovery here. I'm not sure, though. I haven't been checking. Well, at least we nailed this fight. That went well. Wham! Is it, is it this one? Yeah, seven endurance. Six endurance. This one can't be more than four. It is, but. So seven, six, four. Sweeping cross is nine. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what's costing us so much endurance. There must be an enemy here that reduces endurance. Morning, Red Cloud, how we doing? Good to see ya. 
I'm being held again. This sucks. So these guys are basically the ver the Praetorian version of the Lost, it seems. Yeah, I think we're just draining because of how fast we hit our ability. Oh, you know what it is? It's the recharge buff from the Time Defender. That's what's killing us, our endurance. So we've got the recharge from the Time Defender, but we don't have the recovery to support it. <laughs> that makes sense. Holy cow. I can't hit these guys. That should help a lot. That should help a butt ton. Seventy-five base damage at level ten. That's nuts. So, my God, that's one of our highest damage hits too, and that wasn't even a, a crit. Hold on, how much damage? How much damage can we do? Come on, show me a crit. Show me a crit. A hundred damage flat at level ten. Peak male hits for that much sometimes. Hello? Oh! Was that a 160 damage crit? At level 10? Granted, with a double damage buff on. But or only 50% bonus. All gas, no breaks. Thank you, Nobi. Dude, with all these buffs on, it's crazy. Now I just need to crit on my thing. Oh! Thank you for the sub on YouTube. Man. Alright, I'm I'm really feeling this character so far. I'm feeling good. I'm loving the defenders on this team. Nice level. Oh, there's still a suit down here. Nothing suits me like a suit. I missed. That's what I get for singing. Yo, I need to stop being slept. Ow, the whole Wham. 51 base, not bad. I I remember liking Scrapper. It's just my experience in the last few months has been so underwhelming compared to Brutes. But maybe I just wasn't playing the right Scrapper for me. Oh, yo, lower the defense. Smack him. I didn't see how much. I think I missed. <laughs> Thank you, Chemical Crash, for the stretch reminder. Oh, my God. Move your damn bones, bones, bones. Yeah, the crits do feel damn good. Ready? Let's do it. Oh my god, I missed. Yeah, there's way more brutes than scrappers in this game. It's crazy. Because they're just more consistent, and that's what a lot of people like, is consistency. I will need to get an overwhelming force on that at some point, I think. Although, I don't know if at some point, up, like, the uppercut will just replace Sweeping Cross. Oh, they're fast! My god, Kineticist. Well, Kineticist, I guess that makes sense. Oh, what's up, suit? How we doing? Anyway, see ya! <laughs> There's something so satisfying about just clocking someone in the face, too. Is SD is a mix between the two if you don't have enough recharge? What? I missed. I don't know the context of that statement. Hardest part of being a streamer. People respond to things you said like 10 seconds prior. 
And when you have really bad ADHD like me, and memory issues, not not ADHD, but memory issues, uh, it gets really hard. Single target, oh, okay. War Mace Scrapper got me feeling some type of way. Ooh. I've never seen anybody using War Mace. It sounds cool. We almost did War Mace. But Street Justice had... To, we're going for the highest single hit possible in the game, and Street Justice is just looking like the GOAT. Street Justice looks like it's going to have some insane damage with a max combo level uh, ultimate. Oh, it disorients. That's what's so cool about it. Okay, I dig it. And we are going to need some endurance health on this tune. Oh, dead end. Land uses War Mace? Oh, but I guess I never noticed. I guess it's an under, like... It doesn't... That broad, uh, broadsword and battle axe don't have a whole ton of fancy animations. So it's hard to tell... When someone's actually using it, I suppose. Hmm. Huh. Well, that happened. Hmm. Hmm. Where's the team? Where'd, uh... Where'd everybody go? Yeah, if we keep running in one at a time, we'll get... <laughs> oh, that's a wipe. That's a huge wipe, I think. Hey, we still finished the mission, though. Let's go. <laughs> I got him. Classic. Honestly, classic villain logic. Yeah. Nappa, I know you and I could fight Kakarot at the same time and overwhelm him instantly, but isn't it more fun if we do it separately? That's a good idea, Vegeta. I like that idea. It'll it'll demoralize him. It's the beeping of the heart rate monitors. Oh my god. I lost a little bit of blood. My nose is so itchy right now. What the hell? Alright. We did it, Clockwork. What's next? Uh, is the Clockwork just repeatable missions? Is there no story arc here? I'm starting to think Clockwork might just be infinite repeatable missions. Similar to a lot of Night Ward. Or Mace Meg Mason and Hollows. Am I correct in that assumption? I won't let you beat the hero, only I alone am allowed to beat them, right? Imagine if villains actually teamed up. This game is basically what would happen. New power. Active defense. Hey, Mez resist. Am I worried about that right now? Yeah, I suppose I should be. Well, it's so expensive though, right? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's the big weakness of shield. Are that a, or is that just a scrapper thing? Where Mez resistance is not permanent? It's not a toggle, it's an active? That's worrisome. So Mez resist only activate only lasts two minutes, and it doesn't break you out, I don't think, either. Ooh. You can just control click it with enough cooldown, sure. Interesting. Depends on the secondary. Okay, so that's a weakness of shield. With two recharge, it is permanent. Okay, that's not too hard to do. At least at a higher level. I won't worry about it for now, then, because I'll just never think to use it. I'll take I'll take combat right now. I, li I like big number go. Ooh. Big number go. <laughs> it can stack? Oh, that's cool. Alright. Um... Let's do Marchand. Let's do Marchand. Uh, power storyline. People have been saying power loyalist, so I guess we'll do um, power loyalist. Cool. 
Mr. G. Imper All right, we're off. We're on the road to Imperial City, City. So I think that means we're just going basically straight across. The gray UI is not. It's growing on me. I didn't like it when I first started, but I think it's because it wasn't filled with powers. And now that it's got like colors in it, I don't mind as much. Yeah, this one's weird. You have to cross these bridges. These are your loading zones. <laughs> I need to rewatch the original Pokemon anime. Me and my, me and someone have been talking about it lately, and they just make me really, really, really want to play, uh, watch it again. And I want to play Pokemon too. So I might just find some downtime on my own time to play Pokemon while I watch Pokemon and just be a happy 12-year-old for a few hours. Be Brock and Infinite Fusion. I will, we will be getting back to Infinite Fusion next Wednesday. I'm going to be doing the Pokemon streams on Wednesday since Wednesdays are our dead days. Because everyone's at work, everyone's busy, it's the middle of the week. So yeah, we're going to do Pokemon on Wednesdays and then City of Heroes Monday and Friday. Yeah, no, that song 100% just lives in my head, rent-free. We're on the road to Viridian City City. Playing Pokemon will negatively impact your experience with the anime? What? Why? Because the rules are different? That doesn't bug me. That's like people who get mad at Yu-Gi-Oh for it being different than the card game. What's up, Mr. G? Pleasure to meet you, Forklift Operator. Absolute pleasure. I've heard all about you. All about you. I think you and I will go very far in our business together. Very far. Hello there, forklift operator. Very interesting to meet you. Very interesting. I've heard somewhat of your achievements here in pre Why is the gunfire so loud? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? It's very loud. My name is Mr. G. Matters of great importance, forklift operator. A situation that I need your help with. Of course, I'm not a fool to believe you're in this just to help others. I am a man who is all about mutually assisting those who can assist me. I have plenty of influence at my disposal within Praetoria. Plenty of influence. I will make sure that you get whatever it is that you need. Fame. Power. Glory. Spinach puffs. I will help you, and you will help me. Everyone benefits, Forklift Operator. Everyone. Think over my deal and get back to me when you're ready to make a move. <laughs> he does kind of sound like, is he just a G-Man from Half-Life? I'm ready now. God, he's got a lot of dialogue. Very good to see you, Vercliff Operator. I believe you and I have a great deal of work ahead of us. Before we begin, I would like to make a request. There is a woman by the name of Tammy Baker. She is the capable secretary of Praetor Sinclair. Very capable. I would like you to deliver this package to her. It contains the details of your previous exploits here in Praetoria. Nothing too revealing, just enough to make you look good. Very good. This is going to be given to Praetor Sinclair. Ah! Yare, yare, fucking daze, Jesus! <laughs> Everything was so quiet. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're delivering a package that makes us look good. Thanks. Cool. See ya. Tammy Baker. That yada yada just scared the crap out of me. It's me, I'm the problem. It's me in regards to being upset. Oh no, that does bug you, Red Cloud, when they change it in the show versus the um, the anime, or the game. How do y'all, have you missed much? You missed the first one to 10. We've had some good moments. This, this looks like Dolores Umbridge, wait. This just looks like Dolores Umbridge. Also, hold on. Can we talk about this weird reflection? It's got like a fake rendering of the city around it, but we stand on nothing. We are separate from the rendering of the city in reflections. 2004, you are on something else. Uh, Dolores Umbridge, Tammy Baker. Hello. Tammy Baker at your service. What can I do for you today? Mr. G said you were expecting me. Oh, yes, of course I was expecting you. Mr. G has told me all about you and the work you're doing. All about it. He's pretty confident that Mr. Sinclair will be blown away by all the work that you've done. Unfortunately, Mr. Sinclair is a very busy man. It'll be some time until he receives those papers. But I'll make sure to get it to him right away. If only he weren't preoccupied with his own private matters and that of powers division, he'd get to this sooner. 
All of Imperial is concerned about it. All of Imperial. His name's Eddie Poistra. He was supposed to be our newest and best defense against those resistance scum. Yari, yari but now he's just vanished. Here one day, gone the next. Prentice Sinclair is trying to get an investigation going, but he's busy trying to run several other operations. We've heard rumors that someone's going around killing members of Powers Division, but Prentice Sinclair has ruled out that possibility for Eddie. It's an awful situation, just awful. The people of the city are crying out for someone to save the poor members of Power Division. <laughs> you need to use that one more? The, you, uh, you need more Dolores Umbridge in your life, Tricknick? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Madmoo, yeah, this is Goldside. This is Goldside. We're gonna be a villain after, but we decided to go Goldside. Drink! Eddie Poister seems to have gotten in over his head. If Tammy Baker's information is true, the people of Imperial City are concerned about Eddie's safety, including Praetor Sinclair. Alright, cool. Back to G-Man. There was a card game called Card Fight Vanguard, and I loved that the show followed the game's rules to a T. Oh, that's sick. And then in season four, they changed it? Oh, that sucks. See, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually went the opposite route. Once it hit, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, for the most part, they followed the rules, which was sick. Like... Even later, Yu-Gi-Oh! OGs followed the rules. Like, Battle City on, there were still occasional hiccups and cheats, but overall, it was pretty much to the T. Back from speaking with Miss Baker, Poistra? Yes, I'm familiar with his untimely disappearance. You wish to uncover his whereabouts... Fucking microphone. <laughs> you wish to uncover his whereabouts, forklift operator. Yes, I can help you with that. I can definitely help you with that. Where are the hats? You have to select hats as your head type, Cap. This is the reason why I wanted to work with you, forklift operator. You are a proactive being, very proactive. An opportunity presents itself and you seize it. I just so happen to have some interest in Mr. Poistra. I can see this operation benefiting both of our goals. Yes, very much benefiting both of us. Here's my personal contact information. We know that Yugi was stacking his deck. That's true. Yugi was 100% a cheater. I've used my resources to try to locate Mr. Poistra. It's been rather difficult pinning down his exact location. Rather difficult. His specialty is being immune to Praetor Tillman's psychic powers. This allows him to stay completely off the grid. You can't hear me? Oh. How about now? Is that, is that, is that loud enough for you? Is this disturbingly in your ears? Enough with the idle chit-chat, though. Enough with that. We don't have an exact location, but I do know of where he may have been last seen. Some of my sources within the Praetorian government say that he was last seen fighting off hordes of ghouls in the nearby tunnels. Sorry, I forget that I have to turn up my gain for ASMR. Yare, yare, daze, Vinceris. Yare, yare, Vinsar. Did it not proc? It shows you just redeemed it. There it is. I was waiting for it. Okay. Yer yer days! Yer yer days! Alright. Now we go to the ghouls. Think it's safe to say the only team running around gold side? Probably. Honestly, you're probably not wrong. Look, Yugi had the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards is just another name for cheating. I can't wait to start using combat readiness. Around level 12, we'll go get some IOs. But I'm digging this tune so far. I'm really, really enjoying this. This is my favorite scrapper I think I've ever played. I, we don't even have our, like, amazing ones yet. Against all odds is our next secondary, though. It's gonna be awesome. Drink! Thank you, Sly. Oh, Sly, you never redeem. You probably have hella points racked up. All right, let's do this. I hate the ghouls so much. Okay, can I not miss? Stop missing. Stop missing. Thank you. Wham. 61 base, not bad. Oh, man. Huge Bunko damage. Against all odds, it's going to garner you massive aggro. Does it? 
Does against all odds produce aggro? I'm not worried about it if it does. Boom, 86. Yo, what's up, Andrew? How we doing? Thank you for the raid. Hello, raiders. Uh, my name is Nonat. I am primarily a City of Heroes streamer, which is the game you're seeing on screen right now, which is rather loud. Uh, oh, it deals triple taunt. Oh, good to know. Uh, but yeah, I also, I've started incorporating a little bit of alternate content into my streams. Uh, on Wednesdays, we're streaming Pokemon lately, which has been a ton of fun. Uh, so yeah, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Nice crit. Let's go. Uh, we are currently in the progress uh, process of making the single highest number build character in the game. So we basically punch people real hard, build up a combo, and then wallop them. But we're still very early game. It's going to take a quite a few streams to hit level 50 with this character. Uh, and that's when we'll be able to finally realize this character's full potential. Sly dropping the sub. Let's go. Appreciate it. Thank you. Got to take care of the puppy. Aw, say hi to Tally for me. Tell her I miss her. Love the stop sign. Should, isn't this great? Oh, yeah. I should probably show off. We're playing as a forklift operator. Our character is, is just forklift operator. <laughs> we punch people <laughs> and use a stop sign. Yo. Whoa! Slide! Ah, Shale! How you doing? Good to see you, too. Oh, my God. Hello? Yo, thank you so much, Sly, for the five community gift subs. Doing God's work. Let's go. Anyway, big bonkus. That was a boss. Between our combined powers, that boss is no longer breathing. OSHA. Oh, 100% OSHA certified. And you know who's not OSHA certified? All of these schmucks. So, uh, that's why I beat the shit out of them. <laughs> to teach them what OSHA means. So according to Homecoming Discord, if you're playing to level 20, you can pick villains regardless. I thought so. But yeah, awesome. Congrats to everyone who got those community gift subs from Sly. Enjoy your emotes. We've got some awesome emotes done by my friend Diva Dragon. Highly recommend spamming them. We got treats. We got love. We have a new toggles. Which reminds the streamer to turn his toggles on. Is that a destroyer? Why are the destroyers down here? Huh. Anyway, bonkers. Your villain is an OSHA inspector? Aren't they all? Aren't all OSHA inspectors villains? Or are they the heroes? I don't know. Depends on who you're talking to, I guess. Ooh, a boss. I bought. No, come you're so fast. What the hell? What is this conga line of ghouls? All right. Okay, real talk, cat. That emote does not get used enough. I love. Is that no nat swag? I love that emote. And nobody uses it. It makes me so sad because Corey did such an amazing job on it. <laughs> that was one of. That was a birthday present from Corey. Such a sweetie. I got a badge. Neat. Hey, yeah, you got one too, Dread. Hell yeah. I was one of like some of my favorites that Corey does is the is the swag emotes. He's getting away! After him! Bonk! Oh, this guy's over here too. Uh, anyway, this is happening now. Oh my god, that massive knockback from, uh, from Dark Guy. My god. I don't hate no workplace safety! What do you mean? I'm playing as the workplace safety person. Listen, Shale, I don't know what it is with you and not believing I believe in the belief of safety. But we gotta, we gotta mend this part of our relationship. <laughs> no matter who I'm playing, workplace safety is of utmost importance. To the point where if people are not workplace safe, I will beat the shit out of them. Like so. 94, let's go. We're almost, almost touching uh, three digit numbers on our, on our cross sweep. Which is great this early. else? Need a face. Sick. Cool. I'm here to make this workplace safe with as, as much, much force, force as necessary. As necessary. 
I'll make you safe, even if I have to kill you. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, these ghouls absolutely did not go through the proper channels to get uh, the permits for what they're doing here. Oh, 108 damage crit. Not bad. We love to see it. You just call Ocean Inspectors villains? And? Villains do the right thing sometimes. Why do you think we're killing the Resistance for the good of the Emperor? We kill the Resistance so that the Emperor may shine in all of his glory. Some may call us villains. That doesn't mean what we're doing is wrong. I mean, those are the best villains anyways. The villains who are doing things for the right reasons. They are the best characters in pretty much all of media. Oh, yo, are we getting an ambush? Hold what on, we got an ambush. You don't have the proper permits. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have the proper permits? I got your permits right here! They may not agree with our ways, but they will conform to them. <laughs> I have been bonked. Oh, we actually hit three people with our cone? That's never happening again. I am stunned. Schmack. Oh my god, this is like 115 damage crit. Might be a record? No, I think we've hit for 140 before. You're saying your anti mez gives anti Yeah, but I have to activate it. Until I can like properly slot it with decent recharge to make it permanent, I am not worried about it. Why am I suddenly hitting multiple people with that? That was never hitting multi-targets before. Mr. you darling, you've already made my day significant. I'm so glad, Dread. I'm really glad to have you back in the stream. You're always such a positive little, positive little munchkin. I get angry. I punch. I'm out of endurance. This damn recharge bonus is so class good. One in class eight being stored together. Oh, that's, that's gonna, gonna be a penalty. A, a big, big penalty. penalty. Says here in my uh, my demerit sheet, you've earned a cross arm to the neck. Just doing my job, soldiers. Knee him in the face. Thank you. I'm just gonna take a nap. I am an emotional support goblin. Damn right. Damn right. Oh. Oh, the knuckles. Oh, the knuckles. Oh no, what's this? My G fuel has settled back to the bottom of my glass. I absolutely love this thing. This is like the best $5 purchase of my life that someone on Throne got me. It's so good for so many different types of drinks. Resistance ghouls and destroyers, right? And they're all committing fraud by not being OSHA certified. It's kind of a problem. We can't let this go unpunished. Is that a milk frother? It is, and I use it to stir my drinks. I love it so much, Shale. <laughs> I, like, 90% of the time, I just use it for my G Fuel. <laughs> I've never once frothed milk with it. <laughs> yeah, of course I do, Dread. I still have everything people bought me on Throne. A lot of it's still in the, in the garage when we moved up last year. I need to get my JoJo figurines put up, because I do have those from Cory, and they're fantastic. Maybe I'll go get those after this mission. Eh, no, nah, I won't do it today. But another time. Mmm, G pool frothing. <laughs> My next show is an OSHA inspector, but we are an OSHA inspector. I'm the uh, actually. You know what? You can be the OSHA inspector inspector. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't even want to toss it, Dread. I I absolutely adore having this thing around. Oh, I missed. That's not a good thing. It's got a foam head on it, like a beer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It just, it mixes so well. It's basically like a tiny whisk. Also, it looks like my husband's, uh, <clears throat> you know. If you know, you know. That's why people bought it for me anyway. 
I still love Gorf, a messed up Garfield plushie that Cory loves. Aww, cute Gorf. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Gorf. Oh, there's a man here. Or a man. Man Slayer. I power up, I punch. Oh my god, that was like 151 damage. That was insane. Kawamo. I don't even know how much I did, but he died. <laughs> Greetings, how are you guys doing? I'm here to punch all of you. In the face. <laughs> I told you to stop. Can't you read the sign? <laughs> Taps. Don't make me tap the sign. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. This is a long mission. We've, I think I've leveled up twice in here. Oh, what a cool enemy type. Resistance heavy hands. That's sick. And a boss, of course. 106. It's because we've got the level up damage bonus, but still. Any other bosses around? Oh, God. Hello there. Oh, hello there. I lower your defenses. I bonk. 65. Eh. You know, I was making a villain group base. Uh, we already have one, but we're playing through Praetoria today. I don't know if we'll get through all of Praetoria here today. Uh, but we do have a villain group on Torchbearer called Egoism. Are these guys all... Oh, they're all... Okay. I want to ball... Oh, he's already dead. Greetings. Goodbye. Oh my god, 117. Why do I have so many breakouts? Break out. I do this. I power up. I bonk. 96 base with no level up damage power. Wow. If that had crit, that would have been 180 damage. And like, when I say if that crit, that's a decent chance. Against bosses, I have a 10% crit chance. So like, landing that crit is not unlikely. That'll actually go up with level. So our damage is going to be insane after a while. Once we hit level, I think level 28, we will see well over 500 damage in one hit. I'm calling it at level 8. Need you start off as a villain? You can. Yep. Yes, when you are making a character, write it character creation. Uh, when you cr finish creating the character, asks, do you want to be a hero or a villain? Praetoria is a separate selection. It's totally different from the... Um, Hero base? That's sick, Land. Yeah, Land is our resident base builder. They did an amazing job on hero side. So I can't wait to see the, the villain side. Yeah, the, the destroyer names are weird. I don't know why the elites are called, like, hombres. It's kind of strange. Fifty-four damage crit, not bad. Not mean enough to be a villain in real life. That's valid. It can be fun to get the get the anger out. Painted one. Hello. Oh my wait, someone already has their snipe? Dark guy already has their snipe? You must be like Oh, I think you have double XP on, don't you? That's right. So you're probably like level sixteen. I love playing villains on stage. Being the villain on stage is just the best feeling. Oh, it's low level for dark. Oh, that's cool. Man, that's crazy. I think I remember my uh, my archery getting sniped at like level 18 or 20. I don't remember what level you unlock it, but man. Huh. Neat. Oh. Six or eight. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Dread. It's just so funny, because I'm not... I, I'm never a villainous person in real life, to my knowledge. I, I like to think I am I am good boy who struggles to do bad. But I just... I love playing it on stage. The the, the presence, the feeling, it, it it's all immaculate. The vibes are immaculate, as the kids say. Do the kids say that? Is, that? is that something the kids say? Do I sound young? Who hit me with a rock? 
That guy threw a rock at me? Fuck that guy. Being bad guy in LARP was amazing. Ooh, that's sick. That's gotta be fun. God, this mission is massive. Let's keep it going, I guess. Okay, here's a... Um, here's a boss. And he's dead! <laughs> what a boss, huh? What a boss. I wish there was an option to turn normal bosses into elite bosses. Although elite bosses aren't typically worth it for the experience. They only give, like, double the experience for, like, triple the health. Hit him. Bam. How's that scrapper going? It's going good, Canuck. The damage we're hitting for is kind of way off the charts. I am, I am blown away by this damage output. Dark Blast is the earliest snipe. Interesting. Huh. I wonder what made them decide that. My character for Lark is a merc mercenary, so I didn't have a point that I was being paid to help the bad guys. Sick. You still doing the uh, the archery in LARP Dread? Remember you telling me about that, which was awesome. Maybe because Dark is kind of lacking in damage? Maybe. That's possible. I don't know if Dark does do less damage. Let me find for a clue. Odd beeping. I'm knocking out one of the... Interesting. Okay, so the, the ghouls are wearing collars that beep. I know the ghouls are... They're not dead people, but they're basically, they've lost their humanity. So it sounds like the collars might be doing that to them? I'm not sure. Also, I love that it said we knocked them out and didn't just, you know, murder them. Stop. Move on to the next part of the tunnel. Is that this? Is this the next part of the tunnel? No. What's the next part of the tunnel? Oh, that, is it that? Oh, it is. Okay. Weird. Do you get the chance to do the ghoul story? Is that the one where you have to kill uh, PPD to turn them into um, into ghouls? To feed the ghouls, I mean? That's what I found I'm good at. I haven't been able to go in a bit, but whenever I do, I show up. Everyone's afraid of me. <laughs> Amazing. It is better to be feared than loved. Nice. Wait. Oh, call Mr. G? I'm on Eddie's trail. Are we still... Is this... Uh, tell them I vow to start a campaign to make the tunnels safer for people. OSHA certified. Cool. Okay, so we just stay underground. Interesting. Oh, we're in actual underground right now. We're not in, like, a mission anymore. Oh. Wish I could add a decal on the hat. Yeah, some hats can't have a decal, which is unfortunate. Oh my god, there's still more. I wanted to level up, damn it. Oh, well. What time is it? 12.30, okay. We got time, we got time. Let me just casually uh, be bad at my job and check my messages, because I can. Listen, I know you're not supposed to use your... Uh, you're not supposed to use your... phone on the clock, but what can you do? Alright. Oh, we're fighting people. Okay. Wait, we gotta fight people in this game? I wasn't ready. Major Titan willpower? Hell yeah. I know it took you like an hour, Lamb. That's gotta be a new record. Whoa, my damage is suddenly garbage again? I think this is what it's like to not have the buffs. I want my buffs back. Please. Time, Daddy. Give me back my buffs. Oh, wait, no, I do have time my buffs. Huh. That's better. Okay. Thanks, Time Daddy. <laughs> I love it. It's not Father Time. It's Time Daddy. Oh, good. Dark Eyes on the ground. All is as it should be. I don't know how that happens to you every time we play Dark Guy. But at this point, that's, uh, that's a pattern. <laughs> Once or twice, you got unlucky. Five or six times, that's a pattern.
not a pattern, they say. It's a tradition! <laughs> True. Anyway, biggest bonkers. I missed? Damn. Be into what you're into. <laughs> Made a Necromancer. The rework to the Dark Blast and the kit feel good? Awesome! Cool, did it used to be... Did it used to be suck? Did the Dark Blast and Zombie Mastermind used to be suck? Tradition! 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 Tradition. Oh, that was 160 damage! <laughs> Time daddy, I need a minute. Oh, that's right, that's the extra thing, is your Dark Blasts have a chance to summon ghosts. That's so sick. Praetoria does look awesome. The, the enemy groups are rad. It's so much more, like, technologically advanced, which I dig. Do you guys think this is what the far-off future of 2010 will look like? Careful not to split up too much, unless we pull the entire room. Time Daddy's safe. <laughs> oh, good. Time Daddy has a safe word. That's important. After this mission, remind me I need to go put some IOs in. Where are you going? I'll say our clear time is pretty solid right now. Oh, that's a boss. Hello. I haven't played it yet, but I finally got Monster Hunter World. Oh, nice! Yeah, no, that game... You can drool over the wildlife. It's gorgeous. That game looks amazing. Unless you mean drooling like how Melly drools, in which case that's a very different story. Uh, here's the way forward. I have to leave for work soon. Oh, see you later, cat. See you on Monday. Thanks for hanging out. Always a pleasure. Uh, we can skip these guys. Do people skip? Okay, yeah. I think so. Eh. Maybe. We'll see. Eddie, are you behind this door? Oh, you're not Eddie. You're not Eddie at all. Damn. Oh my god. There's so many people behind this one door. Wow. I'm really glad I'm alive. Hey, some monsters gruel. Gruel. Some monsters drool is harmless. Others will poison you or paralyze you like Kezu. I mean, if that's what you're into. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> City of Heroes. Yeah. Uh, I won't be around next week. I'll be in sunny California at a game dev conference. Hell yeah. That's sick. Oh my god, is that Sasuke Uchiha? Yuri Lowenthal? Like, we can all agree, this guy would be voiced by Yuri Lowenthal in an instant, right? <clears throat> Let me see if I can get my Yuri out here. Don't quote that. You. Who are you? Wait, I've heard of you. Forklift operator. What are you doing down here? They send you to save me? What? Where did... Oh, okay. I guess that's it. I, th I thought we were having a conversation. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we gonna hit 13? No, that became emo Spider-Man. Yeah. Catch up with Eddie? Oh, we have to go back underground for that? Hold on. I'm going to go level up and get my IOs. Oh, Nightstar. Let's see. Who's Nightstar in Praetorian? What was that? Oh, wait. Mission's done? Mission is done? Okay. Weird. Somebody triggered it. Gotcha. You're, you're not Nightstar. Who am I looking for? You. Let's see, who are you? Um, I don't know if that's a... Is, who's this a Praetorian version of? Does anyone know? I'm curious. I don't... Yeah, it's... I don't... It's not Penelope or anything. Huh. 
Enhancement slots. Let's get... It's already maxed out. I like Ribcracker a lot. I don't need a Taunt. I guess I'll get my Mez Resist now. Could also get a Power Pool, but I'll take the Mez Resist. It's... Oh, Luminary. Gotcha. Alright, and where is the University? There it is. Let's go. I know I could get a Travel Power, but honestly, Athletic Run is just so good. It's so overpowered this early. Knee to the groin! Oh, I missed. Anyway, see you guys later. <laughs> I just thought I'd need the... I would. I wanted to need the pee-pee and the pee-pee. I still need to watch Arca Arcane. God. I'll just, I, I'm just going to sit down and binge that in one day at some point. Is Arcane getting another season or is it a standalone story? Alright. Let's make some... Oh, have I gotten any orange salvage? Yikes. No orange salvage. That's problematic. Second season comes later. Nice. Uh, Merit Vendor? Merit Vendor? Merit Vendor. I can make a little bit off my merits. I don't know if I'll have enough for a whole thing of IOs. You haven't seen it? I'm sorry! I'm really bad at shows. I'm watching like eight other shows at once. Plus I've been in a movie mood, which is the first time in 28 years I've ever been in a mood to watch movies. Oh my god. Did I just glitch it? I only had three reward merits. I glitched that somehow. I bought 15 enhancement converters with three reward merits. What? Alright. I won't. I'll take it. One, that's fine. I'm I'm here for quick cash. Should have had five. Maybe I had. Maybe I miscounted. All right. Eight hundred. That should be enough for a set. I think that'll be enough for a set of um of IOs. Thank you. Where are the converters? They're under salvage. Finally showing my bro from Batman Beyond. I haven't seen that. One. <laughs> that's the um. That's the animated series, right? I've heard great things. Alright. So, we would like... Let me get my notepad open. 800,000 is definitely not enough for any kind of set IOs. So, we want... 3 accuracy. 2 accuracy. Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 accuracy. Um, 1, 2, 3 damage. One, two endurance. One cooldown. I'll take two cooldown. Uh, one healing and one defense if I can swing it. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Nine accuracy. Level 15. That's just AH. Looking into luck charm. I need five of them. Can I get them for 200 right now? No way. Oh, they're so cheap right now. Wow. That's less than half they're usually worth. I need eight sites. Thank you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there anywhere I can sell my garbage enhancements here? Are you a shop? No. Is there any? There's no shop in here, huh? I really wish they would add a shop to the universities at some point. That's too bad. All right. So, let's create the most important ones. Somehow I always forget this game has an auction house. Oh, how can you? It's so, like, required, I swear. Alright, accuracy. 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 Because we're, we're so combo-based that missing does even more damage to us. So, I'm not even putting damage in my base two abilities. For all intents and purposes right now, these are just combo point generators. And then we need three damages. Brass. Eh. 
And inanimate. One, two, three. Create, create, create. Damage. 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 Endurance reduction. We need two spell scrolls. I'll just buy three. Uh, ancient artifact. I'll buy three. Yeah, I don't really need to get these right now, but I think it's fine. Like a 20 is infinitely, not infinitely, but a 20 is way better than a 15, but I'm just sick of missing. Uh, I'll probably stop there. I'll make the cooldowns. Why not? Recharge reduction, 15. I can make exactly two. Perfect. It was meant to be. Recharge down. Recharge down. Cool. Awesome. We in there. So what's up, Mr. G? How we doing? Eddie's chasing some sort of monster. This is all fascinating. I've heard some rumors about a Maelstrom device. Give a call to Anton. Alright. If only we could see your enhancements. You're not missing much. You're missing accuracy and damage. Congrats. I apologize for the way, Forklift Operator. Anton told me what I needed to know, though my secretary was less helpful. I regret to say that I do not know the identity of this monster Eddie spoke of. It appears the device was manufactured by Neuron Technologies Unlimited. In other words, by Neuron. That's all the information I could currently retrieve, but it may be enough for us to move forward. Yes, quite enough to move forward. I know of a lab here in Praetoria that has data files from Neuron Technologies Unlimited. I imagine you could find more information on the Maelstrom device there. While it would be simple to just walk in there and get the information on the device, there would be nothing really on your end to gain from it. No fame, no show of power, no publicity. It would almost be a waste of time, unless you could get a group, say the Resistance, to attack the lab. I can do that. Excellent. Your terrorist is... Yeah, we... Uh, no, that's the, that's the ironic thing. If we're not, we're not certified at all. We're not certified. Uh, we are certified in pain. Uh, and that's usually enough. People stop asking questions after the second roundhouse kick. Uh, this is why I enjoy working with you far more than that, Reese. You do not have the wit to do what you do. Luring the resistance to the lab will be an excellent way to take out one of their groups here in Imperial while also improving your own reputation. Let's see. Tell them Eddie was brainwashed. I'm going to cure them. Inform the people that I defeated the resistance leaders. Tell them Eddie was brainwashed by the resistance. Brainwashed angle. Interesting. All right. Save the day in quotation marks. Let's go. Let's do it. It's a secret. Ooh. That music, though. Yeah, check this out. Ready? Boop. See ya. Suck it, nerd. I love that I can just knee people in the groin. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah, these guys are higher level. I don't want to do it. Does he pull a Dio and run off to grab a forklift and smash you with it? Hold on. I haven't seen the end of Stardust Crusaders. Shush. You just knee a cop on the balls and run away? Yes. You walk into the lab to see them embroiled in chaos just as planned. Sick. Let's do this. Hold on, where's my- where's Time Daddy? Time Daddy, hurry! Hold on. We're not going anywhere without my Time Daddy, who seems like they're having trouble loading in. There's Time Daddy. Gimme, gimme. Based. Isn't Vin Ven a female? Maybe. Male, female, non-binary, or anywhere in between. They're my Time Daddy. That's how this goes. Oh, go! All right, hold on, hold on. Ready, ready. We're gonna power up with our all of our new enhancements. I'm held. Oh, break out, please. Break out. Break out. Break out, please. I hit the wrong. Let's activate my mez resist. Stop killing them before I can. Man, I want to see my damn. Where's he go? They're so fast. Why are they so? F I just want to see my new damage. Whammers. That was the wrong ability. Damn it. 103 base. Not bad. Morning, Yuki. How we doing? Uh, we're having a lot of fun with this character so far. 
I suit. Show him what's up. Bam! 161 with the da with the level up buff. Not a crit. You know what that means, chat? That means right now it is completely possible for us to hit for over 300 damage. At level 13. What is the future of this character? I need to know. Swordmaster, here we go. Ready? Buff up. Lower the defense. Whack him! 174. Not a crit. Uh, shield and fire. Nope. Uh, so we are shield and street justice. Our goal with this character is to hit for the single highest possible number. That is our goal. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. I'm, I'm really like... I'm glad I gave street justice another try. I didn't like it when I played it solo, but I'm really enjoying it on this guy. So these guys are all really low level for some reason. Anyway, see ya. <laughs> Just clobber them. What's up, suit? What's up, suit? Number two. Wham! Only 97. Come on. Weak. If this dude gets musculature and assault incarnates. Ooh, is that a is that a scrapper option? Is that something I can get on scrapper? Sly? I don't know enough about those. Oh, wait, no, those are incarnates. I, I was thinking, um, I was thinking of, um, epic power pools. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about those other, those incarnate powers. Ooh. I'm OSHA's strongest violator, but also its greatest defender. What is this maze? You going this way? Hello. Greeting suit. I'm dying. Where is the team? Where did everybody go? I've been abandoned. Why did you guys go that way? Does anyone have a yellow or a purple? Oh, someone just gave me a res. Alright, I'll save that. Hopefully we don't wipe. <laughs> I have been abandoned. Only MMO I've played is Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this game is made to be played in a group. You can play it solo. It's still a fine experience. It's fun. The stories are great. Uh, the stories are also, like, such classic comic book, it hurts in the best way. Uh, but if you're not, like, this game in a group... This is early game, by the way. What you're seeing is about... An hour into the game. It's taken us about two hours to get there because I'm streaming and we're slow. But yeah, this is like two hours. This is like an hour into City of Heroes. We're all really low level. We're level 13. Level cap is 50. Yeah, we're level 13 right now, Ifrit. This game is amazing. And it came out so long ago. This one's, We're on plus one. Although, now that we have... Well, I don't know if everyone has enhancements. If everyone had enhancements, we could probably handle plus two. Thank you, Einhorn! Oh, we... I mean, at least that much... Procre I don't, um... Oh, my God. That's a good stretch. I don't... I don't delay as much as I used to. All right. Let's do this. Suit. Mez resist. Defense. Mess him up. And we bonk us. Fuck it, we bonk. Oh, hey, a boss. Yoink. Just now we're into the game, I'm still level four. Yeah, team teaming also levels you up way faster. The amount of experience you get is nuts. So it's more fun and it's more efficient, if that's what you care about. I've been working on not caring about efficiency as much, but they just go hand in hand in this game. Anyway, power up and bonk us. 108, let's go. I swapped sides. Welcome welcome to the cool side. Uh, honestly, Twitch is... No no hate to my YouTube viewers. Twitch is so much better than YouTube for streaming. It rewards your engagement more. You've got the fun little point redeems, which I could probably come up with new ones. Especially more City of Heroes themed ones. But I just... I think Twitch is so superior to viewing streams than YouTube. 
Twitch gives like actual better alerts once your favorite streamer is streaming. It's great. Hello. Hi, suit. Hi, suit. 106. One of these days I'll crit. My finishers can crit, right? I, yeah, I've definitely crit with my finisher before. One of these days I'll get that sexy crit. I just want. You just crit for 400, Kaze. Oh my, you're not even level up buffed. Damn, that stalker assassin strike is brutal. Can I? What do you mean out of range? Holy cow. Yeah, assassin strike is amazing. I don't know if we'll technically out damage an assassin strike, but we will be more consistent. Assassin strike from stealth is crazy good, yeah. Cast to leap. I will not be beaten like this. One of these days, I'll get a sexy crit on my finisher, and it'll be glorious. 92. Katana also has a higher crit chance. Ooh, that's cool. But again, I'm not worried about crit chance. I'm worried about crit number. Whack. It's wild that went how close to peak male's damage we're doing. <laughs> Yasuo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Twitch also has great emotes, which YouTube has some of them, but not all of them. Hey, Michael Hot Hayworth. Uh, you sound punchable, so that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, see ya, Michael. Bye. Sorry, Michael. You get the crit chance and the numbers don't matter much? Well, again, we're not going for optimal. We're going for the biggest single number we can find. I don't care about doing the most damage. In, like, overall. I care about doing the most damage in one hit. And that is our goal. Our final move is gonna hit so hard, it's not even funny. Didn't even let the man monologue. Yeah, sorry, I'm that kind of CTRPG player. When my when my DM starts monologuing, I'm like, I cast Fireball. The end. Yo, what's up, Telekinesist? Telekineticist, whatever. We're getting, like, not much experience from these guys. We should probably move on. Oh, there's so many groups, though. Well, we're stuck here. Oh, please hit multiple. I, I don't know if it's anybody. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm just one punch man's origin. Forklift operator. Fun fact, he was a forklift operator before he was a superhero. Pretty sure that's true. Don't look it up, though. Ooh, 130 damage crit for my regular ability. Love to see it. I bonk us. You're fucking dead. Your DM agreed to try PF2? Nice! I hope, we have, uh, I hope you have fun with it. Bonk. I want to bonk! Damn it. Alright, we out. Good job. Are we level 13 or 14? And have we leveled up to 12? Yeah, we, we leveled up to 12. Alright, we don't even need to level up right now because we won't get anything fancy. What's up, Mr. G? Imperial City is alive with talk of your exploits. Simply alive. Some scientists from Neuron's lab have already gone to TPN to tell them of you saving the day. We're the good guy. I was. Eddie is wrong about an invasion, though. I believe I learned something about his or... His origin? What do you mean? The Maelstrom device Eddie is wearing was stolen years ago. Ooh. Interesting. I doubt very much that Eddie is aware that this technology is stolen. I quite doubt it. This means that whoever grafted the device on him stole it right beneath Neuron's nose. What of the monster he was chasing? Something about a failed experiment with someone in the peepee. -pee. It seems Neuron has a secret to hide there. If the report does not explain the aftermath of the experiment. Regardless, this will be important information to present to Mr. Polstra. He believes this monster is part of an invasion, wherever he is from. If you can show him evidence that his device was originally made here in this city, he will come to his senses. I've been using some sources of mine to track his positioning, and I believe he is once more down in a den of ghouls. Oh, more ghouls. We have to handle one last issue before you're off. One last issue. Let's see. Let them know that I paused my efforts with Eddie to save that lab. It's always good to try to garner the compassion of the people in that manner. Players who were originally part of the Resistance can call up Calvin Scott. This will begin the storyline of working undercover in the Powers line. Okay, so then we, after this mission, we want to start doing Calvin Scott. Right? Is that a find contact? Calvin Scott? No. Huh. Maybe that'll happen after this mission? Uh, this is on Torchbearer, yes. 
Figure out how to get to Imperial. Can Tempest Juice join the mission? We are unfortunately still a group of eight. Wait, you, like, you got, Kurt, you made a villain and, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, what level are you at? And is anyone willing to, to step out to let someone else join for a few missions? Sure. Oh, Kaze. I appreciate you. Thank you. Also, damn right you're going to leave after out-damaging me. I can't have you around. You're going to make me look bad. <laughs> awesome. Get in here, Tempest Zeus. You'll be leveled up to our level anyway. We have three defenders. Uh, Yeah, we can keep going at plus one. I'll come to up around two, though, yeah, I have to figure out how to get there. Oh, do you not have a Praetorian, Yuki? Yeah, that would be a problem. Where's Nova Gull? <laughs> yeah, we have three defenders and a corruptor. We have so many buffs going on our three damage dealers. We've got... Th we've got three supports, four supports, a debuffer, and three DPS. I love this. Which is great because it shows me City of Heroes in a recommendation one. Then that Japanese comic structure with ten... What? <laughs> anyway. I have a hero one, not a villain one. Uh, everyone in Praetoria can just hang out. As long as you're in Praetoria. Uh, I'm gonna head out a little early today. Yo, get that nap, Nobi. Get those... Get that heckin' snoozer. Keep it real. Who needs a tank anyway? Honestly. Tanks are overrated. The best CC is damage. I don't want to fight ghouls. When ghouls die, they heal all the ghouls around them. It's stinky. Hero meetings on Excelsior. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I'm so sick of these tunnels. Oh, I'm so sick of these tunnels. Oh, God, they dropped from the ceiling. Wonkus. No painted ones, huh? A ghouls really suck solo. Like, ghouls are the worst things to fight solo, because you, like, you can't split your damage up. If you're fighting one of them, like, you need to single target them down, otherwise they will just keep healing each other when they die. Oh, 108, 95, I think? 195 damage crit might be our record. Banking mission would be fun. But I'm not worried about it. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, that snipe was insane. Ama I can't wait till we have like set bonuses on this guy. Oh. But again, we are we are just living and praying for level 28. That's that's the end goal right now. Not the end goal, but that's when we get our chunker. Unfortunately, there's no way we hit 28 in this stream. <laughs> You're making sure Dark Guy doesn't go faceplant again. Love it. I don't know why I hit that. Didn't need to. Oh, well. Punch! Seventy-one damage with bulk up, or whatever you want to call it. Breaking tradition. <laughs> How am I supposed to die now? Damn! Can't believe Erica would go against stream tradition like that. Such a fake fan. Oh, we're going, huh? We're going. Punch. Any maelstrom is from the twin shot story arc. Really? Interesting. So is that his name? His name in the in Hero Side is Eddie Maelstrom? Because yeah, this is an alternate universe, so this is the Praetorian version of him. Interesting. More man eaters, let's go. Or slayers, whatever you want to call them. Big punchy! Oh my god. So many! I'm out of endurance. Crap, and I have no blues! The one time in this game I'm ever out of blues. Oh, that was sick. Punch. 
There's only one Maelstrom in canon? Even between universes? Oh my god, there's more. Wonkus. Oh, it's the same guy. Uh, oh no, you're, you're good. You don't need to give me a blue, Zeus. Um... Can you know, just take the tunnel to Imperial City? Really? Oh, sick. But that's interesting. So the Maelstrom in Twin Shot story arc jumped dimensions. That's awesome. Hey, yo. Man eater. Slayer. Whatever. I'll say it right someday. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. Buff up, ladies and gents. We're going to be here a while. Oh, double hit. Let us go. There's multiple bosses in here. Yo, defenders and controllers doing absolute work right now. Nobody's even losing health, and we don't have a tank. Amazing work. Oh, that's an unfortunate miss. That was a 5% miss, guaranteed, definitely. Man, if only we had all of our AoEs. More! More groups! Let's go! We can handle it. We're killing it. Oh, there's the level up. It's Ogre for them. Oh, 292 damage crit. Oh, my God. Oh, boy, look. It's Dark Guy doing that thing that Gold Guy does in every single mission. Color me shocked. They're also all gray at this point. This mission's barely worth the experience. I did not ask for this. I said we can take another group. So I pulled another group. And you thought, haha, this is my moment of stream fame when I pull two more groups. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, they're all so low level, it's not even funny. on here. What, why does he have a globe on his head? Why is he running away with a globe? <laughs> Anyone else see that? Am I crazy? That was awesome. It's four experience per ghoul. Oh my god. We need, to, we need to sprint through this mission. This is not worth our time. Let's get moving. Let the ads follow us if they want to. I'm just jumping over. We speed running. Let's go. Like, I guess kill the bosses. The bosses are probably worth worth experience. Let's check. How much are you worth? I lied. They're only worth 45. We're still leaving. We're out of here. Sprint up and run. Alright. I have been knocked down. What are we looking for? Hey guys, what's up? So what are we looking for? Is there like a, a glowy somewhere? Like y'all can fight these guys if you want. I'll look for the glowy. Yeah, they come. Let's 
guy over here. Is there a guy here? Oh, he's gone. Oh, Maelstrom. There he is. Okay, cool. Alright, anyway. What's up? Bonk. Bro, where is this guy going? Where are you going? What? <laughs> Can I fight you? 140 crit. You'll love to see it. Ah, back is itchy. Why are you running? Why are you running? That meme is like 10 years old at this point. That makes me feel so damn old. Thank you, Chemical Crash. I needed that. Especially because my back is so freaking itchy. Why? Why back itch? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we weren't... I like the idea that we were stealing Memorial Flowers more land, so that's my head cannon. Bonkus. Alright, where's Maelstrom? There he is. What's up? Here's the details. What? This device was made here? In Praetoria? But that means forklift operator. This changes everything. I've been a fool. The monster is minor compared to this. Do you know what all this means? The invasion. They've known about Praetoria longer than I believed. Where I come from, they want to destroy Praetoria and everything that it stands for. I thought all this time they made this device of mine, and that they made that monster. But if they were able to steal this device from Neuron, it could only mean that they have more details on Praetoria than I could have possibly imagined. I have to go speak with Cole, with White, with someone about this. I can't let them invade us. I won't let them, even if I have to go back there. Almost as if on command you hear the frenzied footsteps of resistance soldiers. Oh, hey. What's up, resistance soldiers? You sure are really low level. I don't know, chat. You think we can do it? You think we can beat these guys? Oh, man. Look at that boss. There he goes. Drink! I will. Is that freaking Zuri? Zuri, how the hell you doing? Been a hot minute. How's things? How's life? How's the weather? Yuri, Yuri does it. Uh, this fight would be a lot more intense if we weren't over leveled as hell. I don't know why this mission's so low level. We're on plus one. Oh, Mail's here. Rainy? I wish it was raining. I wish it was raining. I love rain. Last time it rained, I was in a really bad mood, so I wasn't able to enjoy it, so I demand it rain again. <laughs> Do it again! I wasn't looking. Bonkus. I haven't had any XP bonus on. That's, what's, that's why I wonder why we're so over-leveled. I don't think Torchbearer even has an XP bonus anymore. Oh, there's still more. Do a rain dance? I don't think I can learn that TM. Pretty sure it's incompatible with my typing. Torch is 50%? Oh, okay. What's the other one that's not plus experience right now? Because there's Excelsior and something else has no bonus. It's all gray and drizzly, is it? I guess that's true. It is It is gray. It's not rainy, though. It's just overcast. Everlasting? Oh, okay. I didn't know Everlasting was that popular. Are we done? I throw a knife. Oh, there's a guy here. What's up? Oh, that was a sick punch. 
Forklift is rock steel. You can't have three types. I think Forklift is a steel fighting type. Yeah, we're like, like, we're like Lucario. Oh, it's that popular because it's the RP server. Nice. Okay, sick. Uh, let's go get a new power. Uh, where was it? Where are you? Where's, wait, where's the, huh? Where did it? Nightstar, that way. 200 yards, okay. How have things been? Things have been okay. Making do. Enjoying, enjoying this a lot more than what I was doing before when I was forcing out, uh, Pathfinder 2e content. Uh, this is City of Heroes. This is an MMORPG from 2004, before World of Warcraft came out. And it just came back with a legal license this past January. Discontinued 10 years ago and just came back. And it is phenomenal. Alright. Oh, we still can't get against all odds or spinning strike. Oh, I want it. I guess we'll actually get a travel power now. What do we... I wish there was a... I wish there was a, a vehicle travel power. Because forklift... What's the most forklift travel power? Super speed or super jump? Probably, <laughs> they're not fast. Just found out my voice to text is putting the occasional period there. Oh, weird. Which server is the RP server? Apparently, it's everlasting. I like Super Jump a lot. Super Jump's just fun. And we did we did Super Speed on. Um. Teleport? How is teleportation? How is that forklift? Telehandle is clearly the. Force of will jump. Why that? Hmm. That's exactly it, Zuri. Yeah, I've, I've loved this game. I've been playing it for three months now. I adore it. For the ground stomp? No. Do any of these give a bonus to damage? Hold on. This is a, we could just take assault. <laughs> we could just take assault for the 10% extra damage. Uh, I think I'll just take... I, I do like teleportation. I don't use teleportation enough. Fuck it, we're taking teleportation. I love teleportation. Fork of lift. Wait. Wait. It's fork of lift. And it's lifting us off the ground. Damn it, you might have just sold me. You might have just sold me on Mighty Leap. Alright, I've never used Mighty Leap before. Why not? I think it's technically just a slower super jump. Didn't mean to hit that. So I activate this. Does that happen every time I jump? No. So it's only... So how does takeoff work? You stomp your foot on the ground. So it does no damage. It just... That's it? Is it whenever I land? No. Why is it called takeoff? What? Okay, it just lets me jump higher. Okay. Okay, so it's sort of like the, the speed buff for flight, but for with force of will. It's an attack. Interesting. Alright, cool. Uh, did I see your comment about Maelstrom? Like the one way back where you're like, it's the same guy? So, hey, otherwise, I haven't seen a message, no. Okay, interesting. What's up, Mr. G? You're being proclaimed as a hero. Someone who the people can really put their faith in to save the day. Fantastic. Earlier today, forklift operator rescued Edward Poistra, Polstra from the clutches of the resistance, and we at TPN were with her every step of the way being, during this bold investigation. It all began with forklift operator had a possible lead. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I'm sorry. This is too much reading. But we finished the task. Sick. So we're done here? New contact? Transmuter. Ooh. Doctor Strange looking ass. Alright, sure. Let's do transmuter. What time is it? 120? We got time for a little bit more. What's up, homie? Listen, listen. After you've been streaming for three hours, reading gets harder. Well, like, I don't know. I feel like I knew how that was gonna go, is we tricked like all that was is we officially tricked 
the populace of Imperial City into thinking we're a good guy. When in reality, we're a bad guy pulling strings and making things worse to make me look like a hero. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he left Primal to join Praetoria. That's cool. I have not played much Helldivers. No, I used the Exosuit once, but I've only played for like an hour and a half, like three days ago. Ah, Forklift Operator. It's excellent that you've come to talk to me. Mr. G has told me all about you. My name is The Transmuter. Fighter of the Hamadon Wars. Aid to Emperor Cole. Organizer of the Powers Division, Imperial City. The fact that you're here speaking to me now can only mean that Mr. G believes that I can help you, given my lofty position here in Imperial City. Normally, I don't help regular people. I tell them what to do. But you, you're a bit different now, aren't you, Forklift Operator? Saving Edward Polstra from those members of the Resistance, just to name one of the many things you've done. I can see you and I taking to the skies, lighting up Imperial City with our glory. Perhaps we may even find a new source for my magical powers. Yes, that I, you know, I need a squad. I only have eight people. It's not enough. We in the Powers Division want to really make a push to show our true might. Flex our muscles, if you will. Who better to do it than you? Their names are Riptide, Zane, Arya, Stern, and Warrant. They're all waiting to be deployed, so when you're ready, speak to me again, we can begin. I'm ready. You know, Forklift Operator, I remember when I had my own squad of Powers Division. We were pretty famous. People would give us flowers when we walked down the street. Cheer us on while we fought off Hamadon's monsters. This is before those sonic fences were put into place, of course. It's good to see other people getting a chance to experience what I did. Anyway, let's get down to business. You may not be aware, but there's someone going around killing Powers Division members. Many of the deaths have been low profile. A death here of a man who has minor levitation powers. A gruesome murder over there of a woman who can teleport. Very minor in comparison to the powers I once had and the ones you currently possess. Now, however, the killings are starting to get more high profile. Yesterday, some known members of Powers Division in Imperial City were found dead. The murderer planted a note next to them. It said, Forklift Operator is next. Ooh. We've got a few. The PP have been working to supply us with information, though it hasn't been the greatest. You know how it is with the PP. We're better than them because of our powers. They slack off while we do the real work. That's so why the only real famous PP officer was James Noble. Too bad he's gone now. I remember first meeting him after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of Hamadon's monsters right in the center of People's Park. <clears throat> the lead we have is that our murderer may have some association with the Destroyers. The PP have noticed the Destroyers have more direction as of late. Their attacks don't seem random anymore, like back in Nova. A particular group of destroyers have broken into an office building and are going on a rampage at this moment. A member of Powers Division went in there to stop them, but that was an hour ago. Our murderer may still be in that building. You'll have to find the member of Powers Division, then the lead destroyer. You'll be accompanied by two members of your squad, Arya and Riptide. Alright. Let's do it. Teleport is fun. Oh, they're right here. Literally right here. Okay. Yoink. I have to pee. Chat, I have to pee! Oh, that was my knee that just popped like a firecracker. Anyway, I'll be back. I've done it. I went pee, and now I'm back, and I'm ready to kill people. Okay. Protesting the protesters. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this off. Let's kill some people. Let's go. I don't even know. Why am I so fast? Oh, athletic run is still on. Wait. 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 I don't want athletic run on. Go away. I don't want you. Remove. Okay, now I'm ready. What are we fighting? 
these guys. Okay, I'm ready. I'm all caught up. I've never seen the destroyer bosses before. Cool. Also, I love how we went from fighting grays to purple in two missions. Insane. Got that music bumping. No good thing I have a super jump. <laughs> Still getting wrecked about the same speed, right? Wonk. This guy's got some good resistance, I'll tell you what. Oh, hello. These guys are a lot easier than the ghouls, I'll tell you that much. We overleveled the arc. That's okay. I do know sometimes missions will, like, lead into other missions, and if you started one at one level, it won't go up in level. But I think you might be right. I think we might have just out-leveled those specific enemy types. Got a badge already? Redundant and lead follower? What? Wait, 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 why do we have 43 seconds? Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's right, okay, this is just gonna be ambushes. Oh, god, I thought we were about to fail the mission. But no, we're just about to get ambushed, that's fine. Yo, what's up, big dog? How you doing? No, 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 come here, come here, I just wanna talk, I just wanna talk. We're talking. I missed. Anyway, see ya. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm not dead. Cool. I don't really want to pull the other group. We're getting ambushed. Let's back up, back up, back up. Oh, we pulled the other group. Oh, this is probably a white. Uh, maybe if we can clear this group fast enough before the other one arrives, we'll be fine. Plus, we got someone who just leveled up, so we've got some extra power on our side. Oh, they're showing up! We're getting pincered! I'll focus on the bosses. Because that's what I do. You know, I'm just now realizing my logic. I love how my l awful, terrible luck has become very public knowledge, and I just picked a class that relies on rolling a 1 in 10 chance to critically hit, and so I'm never going to crit. Like, do you see how little I'm critting on a 10% chance? There it is, okay. That's a nice level up. Huge. Quick, while I've got my level up power. Go! What's him up? 123. You know, you know we're powering up and we're hitting him. Big damage! 137 base. That's okay. These guys have really high uh, smashing resistance, it seems. Your luck may be bad, but at least you rolled nat 20 to steal your hearts? Damn right. Sure glad I paid for all of those charming implants. Like this was Shadowrun. <laughs> Not Shadowrun, uh, Cyberpunk. Either or, really. I'm gonna pop one of these. Donkus. Donkus. Oh my god, just down in two hits. Love to see it. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, uh, is there another... I think there might be another ambush. Maybe this is what we're fighting, is an ambush. That's possible. I didn't let the dog out. The dog's inside. The dog's just in the other room. She just gets scared when I'm streaming. <laughs> ow, fire. Ow, fire. Oh, uh, it was just a circle. We didn't have to go through that. What are we looking for, by the way? Are we missing something? Don't think we go this way. Oh, wait. Someone found an elevator. Oh, it's an elevator room. I thought it was a dead end. Oopsie. Uh, big oopsie. More big dogs. Let's go. Big dog hype. Ooh, nice crit. Let's go. Hell yeah. You're just making my case on not playing a scrapper? You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. You look like you're on fire? That's because of our fire defender. That's not my power. That's someone else's buff. Eh. Eh. There we go. Yeah, so that's not me that you're seeing. That's someone else. Yeah, like the rocks, the fire, none of that is me. But understandable why you would think it would be. It's why I'm so tanky right now, because I've got three defenders backing me up. Plus a controller slowing things down. Bonk. Bonk. Where'd these guys all come from? Hello there. Bonk. Oh, the triple! Let's go! That cone never multi-hits. It's such a tiny cone. Anyway, big bonkus. Oh, good, another one. Sick. Power up and knock him. I don't like missing. Missing makes me feel like I'm bad at my job because I am. I guess you're getting punched. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just punched through dimensions to kill that woman. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome. You guys want to come meet my friends? Should I pop this, huh? There we go. I love that our damn character name is Forklift Operator. This game is perfect. Ooh, 150. Not bad. I definitely prefer Brute as well, but I think Scrapper has the potential for a higher number. And that is exactly why uh, we're playing a Scrapper. Because the goal with this character is to get the highest number possible. Not the highest DPS, just the highest number. So we're pretty sure our, our uh, Capstone abilities, Crushing Uppercut... Plus a bunch of buffs is going to be one of the highest numbers in the game. Maybe not as high as a Stalker Assassin Strike, but close. I didn't know that, Viking. That's cool that you can do knockback in a downward direction. That's super sick. Got two friends into the game earlier this week. They both independently chose Brutes. Brute is a fun one. I highly recommend Brute as someone's first class. You'll get to see big numbers. All of your powers are useful. Once you learn how the Fury mechanics works, it's just so fun. You get to keep going. That's the thing about Brutes. The game doesn't stop until you have to rest. Whereas if you're playing a controller or even a blaster, you know, is if you're low on health or endurance, you have to stop and rest. If you're playing a Brute, you're probably not going to run low on either. You're tanky, so you have plenty of health. And because once you have Fury, your abilities are hitting so hard, you're getting so much more mileage for your endurance. Anyway, knife's dead. You're getting so much more mileage for your endurance, so... You don't spend as much per fight. Oh yeah, regen just goes. Or willpower for that matter. Get ambush or something? Whoa, 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 whoa
be cool, 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 be cool. Willpower is like Regen's cooler older brother, no lie. What is happening? This is wild. I think we I think we got two groups here. Uh, so everyone just keep doing what you're doing. Ah, uh, probably a wipe. We'll see what we can do. It's Mez resist. Oh, that's a good crit. That's a really good crit. No, that's definitely a wipe. I'm lasting so much longer than I expected to with this get with this character. Oh my god, stop running. I'm killing you. You're dying. I might go down, but you're going down with me. I'm not going down alone, baby! You're all coming with me! At least you are. Got him! <laughs> I know, walk away. Red Cloud, you did not. Wait, Red Cloud, you did not. You did not. No fucking way you did. <laughs> Red Cloud, why are you such a legend? Why are you such a legend? Hold on, I will cronk time. This deserves to be- look at this. Look at this! <laughs> what a fucking legend, Red Cloud. Oh my god. It's phenomenal. Holy cow. <laughs> I, am, I am in love with Forklift Operator. Every time you make art of a hero, I fall so much further in love with them. I just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Thank, thank you, Red Cloud. You're amazing. Yeah, I mean, there's little, I mean, Red Cloud did that in what, 15 minutes? Like... Don't worry about the little details right now. Like, yes, we're female body type. Yes, there's technically nails in the shield. I don't care. That's what's so fucking badass. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Also, can we talk about how they made this? Red Cloud made this with no actual reference. You know what their reference material was? Seeing me from the back in the middle of combat for 20 minutes. That's all they got for reference, and they still freaking nailed it. My god. It's so good. <laughs> Are we fighting again? Who's fighting? I don't know about fighting. They might be dying. How you doing, Erica? Oh, Erica. Oh, Erica, no. You know what? Just you, Crusher. I can take you. Mono a mono. 1v1. Let's go. Come on. I said 1v1! I said 1v1! <laughs> god, it just looks like I'm beating the shit out of <laughs> Oh my god. Which I literally was. Right, yeah! Red Cloud did that without ever once seeing the front of our character. It's insane. Oh my golly. Alright, looks like Nuclear and Zeus are just waiting for us to clear, so let's do it! Wait, where is- weren't there a lot more enemies left? Oh, there they all are. Yo, Vinceris dropping the gift sub for Red Cloud. What an absolute Chad. Thank you. Uh, I would hit the hospital, yeah. Bro, where are you going? Come on. Fight me. Come on. Come on, big dog. Get out of here. Wonk.
Yo, Red Cloud, enjoy the emotes. They're a blast. I love them so much. Oh, hello? Oh, big dog? Oh. I don't even know who I'm attacking anymore. Enemies are just popping out of thin air. Okay, you need to die first. I am moving so fast. Yeah, there they are! Look at that suite of emotes! Look at that suite of sweet emotes. <laughs> Done by Diva Dragon and Cory. Cory on, on Twitch here. Um, both amazing artists. I love them both dearly. <laughs> Alright, we will wait for Zeus. We will wait for Zeus to get back. Oh, we're almost level 16 already. Damn, without a double XP booster. Look at that leveling. Look at that leveling speed. That's crazy. I've gotten to level 16 slower with a double XP boost before. How long is stream today? I might end it. I think I'm going to end it after this mission. This will be the last mission. Oh, I, I bet Zeus is getting power leveled to hell because you're being sidekicked up. Cory just always does amazing work. Cory is potentially a perfect human being. <laughs> Robot? Warforged? Hmm. Server XP plus double XP makes leveling a joke. Absolutely. If you're ever looking to power level, reunion plus an XP boost is nuts. Do we have, like, any, any good emotes? Hold on. Do we have any good emotes? Where's the, where's the, I pressed it, why you no clipboard? Clipboard. Why no clipboard? Is it because I have my shield out? Maybe that's it. Uh, that was it. Alright, I'm writing all of you up for just awful, awful lack of permits. Well, I think I'm, yeah. I'll be awake early enough to join one of these someday. Someday, Yuki. Well, I'm hoping to sneak in at least one evening stream going forward. I don't know when. We talked about it earlier this stream. Maybe Saturdays. We'll talk about it. We'll see if I have nothing else planned. I just want to make sure I have time for my personal life as well. And I, I don't want to commit Saturdays. But if I ever have an empty Saturday, maybe I'll start doing that. Zeus, you on your way? Should we go without you or are you close? You are. Okay, cool. Yeah, I really... I don't like starting the streams this early. It's just the only time I can. Like, I guess I could technically do, like, 12 to 4 instead of 10 to 2, but I don't think that's any better. It's still the middle of the workday, which is the problem for, for West Coast... Or for uh, Western Hemispheres, is middle of the workday. Like, the best time to stream is, like, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. You know when I have rehearsal... 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> so, like, Mondays I might be able... And maybe I'll try that for a while. Maybe we'll start doing late Mondays. Mondays 6 to 10 is totally possible. Just do both at the same time. Oh, easy. I'll just stream 24 hours. You know what? I don't need sleep. I don't need, I don't need food. I'll drop out of the show. Um, I'll tell all my friends I can never hang out again. I'll just do 24-hour streams forever. Does that sound good? Sleep is for the week. You're good, Zeus. You're almost here. Just stream 10 p.m. to 2 a.m.? Easy. Just totally easy. I mean, honestly, the way my sleep schedule... My sleep schedule has been, like, trying to shift. It's been... I've It's been wanting me to wake up later. And go to sleep later. And part of that's because I've been texting my friends a lot. Uh, and greatly, greatly enjoying our conversations. And they're a night owl, so I've been staying up to talk to them, and it's been great. But, regardless, um, I've been, like, I don't know. My, my sleep schedule's been telling me to change. I don't necessarily have to wake up early anymore. I'm dying fast. What is happening? But, I don't know. We'll see. There could be changes in the future. I'm not committing to anything yet. I don't like this whole pain thing. What's going on? Why am I dying? 
Why am I dying so much? That's what I've been up to? I'll think about it. I could try it out for a week, see what happens. I don't think I'd have the energy, though, to, to do it po like 10 to 2 p.m. to a.m.? Maybe? I don't know. I'd much prefer a 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. I don't know. There's a lot to play with. If streams start being weird over the next week, you'll know why. 180. Let's go. Nice levels. Nice levels. Gonna save the day here. I can't see anything, but things are dying, so things are going- Can I hit, please? I just missed two- I basically just rolled two nat ones on the bosses in a row. Because I missed my finisher twice with a massive accuracy bump. I guarantee I only had a 5% chance to miss both of those. And I missed both. That's whenever you're comfortable. Of well, I mean, I, I always appreciate when people say that. But unfortunately, Vinceras, it's not that simple. It is not as simple as saying, do whatever is happiest and healthiest and easiest for you. Because that's not what pays the bills. You know? If what, you know, what's happiest and healthiest and easiest for me is doing nothing and making residuals on my Pathfinder content. But that's not enough to live on. You know? What I'm doing now is not enough to live on. Which is why something has to give. Something has to change. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to afford to keep moving my damn bones. What will I listen to during works? I got VODs, Joe. The VODs will be there. <laughs> big gr Oh my god, that is a big group. Leroy Jenkins! Anyway, one's dead. Yeah, so it's, it's tough. It's a lot to figure out. And I'll just have to figure out on my own. That's why I haven't been posting polls or anything asking people what their preferred time is. It would be a skewed poll anyway. There, there's something so inherently... God. Yada yada does it. <laughs> there's something so inherently flawed about polling your audience for information. Because you're only going to get answers from people who already watch you. Where what you're always looking for as a creator my size is more people to watch you new people to watch you. Not that you guys aren't enough, but financially you guys aren't enough. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because that is an honest statement. Is like, from an entertainment standpoint, yes, you guys are enough. But a guy's gotta eat. A guy's gotta pay, pay bills. We just ran out of oil again. And a month's worth of oil in the winter where I'm at is 400 fucking dollars. So that's fun. That's exactly it is I would love the response from everybody else. Um, but you can't get that response, because if you... It's it's such a flawed thing, is if you want information from someone, you need... They need to already be watching you. you. So you can't ask somebody who's never seen you, how would I get you to watch me? Because if they can answer you, they're already watching you. Does that make sense? Use oil? Yeah. Yeah, we use oil. We, again, we moved into this house. We did not design it. Who's this you're playing? This is our scrapper forklift operator, who is street justice and shield defense. Use blankies. Oh, we use them blankies. We use them blankies. Uh, I'm gonna fill up here. Combat readiness. True grit. Yes, Craig, those are our power sets. <gasps> Against all odds! There it is. This is this is this the first of the two pieces we need. This is gonna give us 12.5% flat as long as it's on. Which so you can look at this level as gaining a permanent 12% damage increase forever, because this is a toggle. And then for every enemy next to us, we get an extra 7% damage buff up to 68%. Plus 12%. We're looking at an 80% power spike. The biggest downside is this 300% taunt. We are going to be doing triple aggro, which might kill us. We'll see. 
But this damage buff, oh. Because we're going to be combining that with Crushing Uppercut. Which, at level 50, base damage, 248. Before, so let's see, we're going to get that around level, I think we're going to get that at level 28. When we get this ability, base damage, 169, nice. Chance to crit, that's without against all odds. That's without damage enhancements. That's without set bonuses. That's our goal. Crushing Uppercut, surrounded by 10 enemies from against all odds. What was that bling bling bling? Oh, Chemical Crash, thank you for the 420. Greatly appreciate it. All right, against all odds. Hell yes, hell yes. We are turning this on and we are never turning it off. Boom. Wait, did you get Forge? Wait. Oh, and so someone got Assault. Someone got Assault for another 18% damage. <laughs> Erica, did you get Forge yet? Are you the Fire Defender? No, you're Sonic. We have multiple Assaults. Oh, face, thank you. We have multiple Assaults. Oh my god. Forged is a ways away. Okay, gotcha. Darn, so Forged is later. How much damage buff does Forged give? I can I can check real quick online. Forged, uh, City of Heroes. Uh power. It's not basic forge. Uh so it's it's fire defense. How about that? No, nope, that's what's it called? Get a full party of DPS boost. We might have a stream of that someday, just trying to hit as big a damage as possible. Um, it's 40%? Wow. That's great. All right. Well, that's where we're going to call it here. Uh, thank you to all my, my Praetorian buddies. We will do more Praetoria on... Probably next... Friday? Friday or Monday? One of the two. Probably next Friday. Monday, I don't know what we'll do. But I hope you'll all be around again next Friday. I am going to... Uh, thank you for coming. I always appreciate you guys. Uh, YouTube, I'm going to say ta-ta. And I'll see you on Monday. Probably for hardcore. We'll see. I haven't decided. I will see you later, YouTube.